glitters. No. Glittery. Glittery. No, 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 no. Glittering. Glittering. Oh, that sounds best. What do you think, Pupcake? Rock custard. <coughs> oh, why, thank you. Hmm, now what rhymes with star? <gasps> I know, far. <clears throat> Up in the sky, so very far. <gasps> Look, what's that? A falling star. One wish to make, what will it be? A lot at stake, you must agree. Little white light, a glittering ball. With great delight, I watch it fall. Soon as it's gone, my wish comes then. To see before dawn, one fall again. Oh, huh? bravo! Delightful, Miss Shortcake, simply delightful. Oh, Mr. Longface, I'm so glad you're here. It's only a week until the next story time corner, and you're the perfect person to help me with the poem I'll be reading for everyone. It's almost there, I think, but I would be grateful for some help with these two words. Oh, it would be an honor. <laughs> oh, thank you. Just those two words are all that I... Oops, excuse me. Strawberries Cafe, hope you're having a very nice day. Strawberry speaking. Oh, that's great. I'll be right over, Raspberry. Um, do you mind watching the cafe, Mr. Longface? Just running over to Raspberry's Boutique. Be right back. Why, certainly. <laughs> Take your time. Hmm, glittering. Oh, no, 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 no. Glittery. Yes. I'm so excited. A custom-designed, one-of-a-kind, raspberry original dress for my own poetry night. Mm-hmm. Okay, I have all of your <gasps> merry measurements. Oh. Now I know what size to make your dress, so you can relax. <laughs> Oh, would you like to see my preliminary, you know, my first sketches? And you can make any changes you want. Surprise me. I just love surprises. Well, okay then. I guess so. Then I'll just, uh, you know, go with what I had, I mean, have in mind. If that's what you have in mind. Sounds terrific. Well, I've got to get back to the cafe. Thanks. I'll have it ready for you by story time. Falling star from outer space, how huh? doth I wish to see your face? Oh, falling star up in the sky, I see you twinkle with my eye. Don't fly away, you'll make me cry. <gasps> oh, <clears throat> ah, Miss Shortcake, would you know a word that rhymes with cry? Why? Why? Of course, perfect. I mean, why change so much of my poem? Didn't you like it? Oh, oh no, my dear. I simply adored it. I merely made a few changes to give it more of that sense of, well, being there. The actual moment when you saw the star. Well, to tell the truth, I haven't ever seen a shooting star. I was more imagining. Oh, my. But to be a true poet, you must write about what you know. To write what it feels like to wish upon a falling star, you must experience it for yourself. Hmm. Hi, guys. Hi, Plum Pudding. Where are you off to, Strawberry? On a camp out. I'm trying to write a poem about wishing on a shooting star, and Mr. Longface says to write about something, you should experience it. Ah, uh, yes. Just like when I dance, one has to feel it from within. Uh, yeah. Think it might be a little cold tonight for a camp out? Well, if this will make me a better writer, it's worth it. Oh, wait! I have some Glowberry Sunflower Energy Bars. They're just the thing for a camp out. Thanks, Plum. Looks like Raspberry's working late. Maybe she could use some munchies. Oh, do me a favor, will you? Make sure she's not working too hard on that dress she's making for me. Sure thing. Have fun! Hi, Raspberry. How's it going? Well, I started out with a design 
design I liked, but then, well, I wasn't so sure, so I made a couple changes, and pretty soon I'm changing my mind back and forth, but now I'm thinking I really like what I started with best, but now I'm worried I won't finish it in time. Oh, you poor thing. Can I help? I can cut stuff, or you could show me what to do. Oh, that's so sweet of you, but it's really important to me that I do this by myself. Know what I mean? I guess. Are you sure? I'm sure. I just hope I can. <laughs> Ta -da! Oh, my goodness! <laughs> what are you saying? That I'm no fashion expert? <laughs> Always in style. Always in fashion. And it only took me a couple of minutes. What's that? Not strawberry style? No problem. I'll just pull another model out of my sleeve. There! Hiya, hiya! I'm a strawberry snow dress. How do you like me? <laughs> oh, dear. Did I cheer you up? <laughs> oh, yeah. But now I really have to get back to work. Oh, I like this so much. I just want, I just hope, I just... Wish I can make it in time. You'll do it. You just need a good night's sleep, a fresh start in the morning, and I know you'll make your wish come true. I'll close up your shop. Really? Okay. Good night, Plum. Hmm. <sighs> Thanks again. What are friends for? Blueberry? It's Plum. <laughs> oh, I missed it. Okay, no more yawning. And so that's the deal. Aw, poor Raspberry. And you know how she wants everything she makes to be the very best it can be. That's why I say we've got to finish Strawberry's outfit ourselves. Tonight! What Plum's talking about us doing sounds like this story. The shoemaker and the elves. While the shoemaker is asleep, these elves sneak in and make the shoes to help him out. <gasps> we could be like the elves! Raspberry secret helpers! Deal? Deal! Deal. What? 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 <sighs> okay. No more sleeping. original design, so I... Uh, well, you see, we thought, well, it was... It was the fashion elves! Fashion elves? Yeah! You know, like, the story about the shoemaker's elves? Blueberry has a book about it. Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Kinda like, um... The Berrykins! But with pointy shoes! They know when you're in need, and they come at night and help. Really? Can you see them? Well, um... You can! I mean, you can't. I mean, you can, 
But you shouldn't. Those are the rules. You spy on fashion elves, they run away and never come back. That's right. Elves, Psh, what are you gonna do? It must have been because you were wishing so hard for your dress to be made. Your wish came true. It isn't that you couldn't have done it on your own. And it's still from your design. Well, not really. <laughs> this is a much more uh, complicated, but wow. If these fashion elves can make a design this complicated in one night, think what they could do with a little more uh, direction. Huh? huh? Now I can really go wild and design something for Strawberry that is extra, extra ordinary, out of this world. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, something like uh, like this. I'll leave a new design up for the fashion elves tonight and see how they do with it. Um, maybe they're uh, only one night elves. Uh, possibly yes, but in case they are here to stay, I better get designing because Strawberry deserves the very best. <laughs> Keep your heels on the floor as long as possible. Don't you think we should tell her the truth? <sighs> How are we gonna stay up another whole night? I was going to until somebody said fashion elves. I'm sorry. <sighs> Releve and turn around. <sighs> Grand plie. Uh, first position. <laughs> Yum! Elf snacks! We're gonna need the nutrition. This is a monster of a dress. We'll never finish it by morning. We've got to for Raspberry. Look, let's divide the design in four parts and each take a section. Good idea. See? Now if it drizzles, we won't get wet. We'll just climb into the tent. Oh, muffin crumbs. It's stuck! <laughs> Don't tell me. <laughs> oh. Oh. <sighs> Morning, Raspberry. We came to see the elves' latest and greatest. <gasps> this is exquisite! Especially this area. I really love this lace down here. Hmm. <laughs> but see, it only goes partway around the hem. It seems like the elves have gotten off track. Off track? Well, I think this outfit is a smashing success. It's fabulous. Just look at the placement of these buttons. So, uh, pleasingly unexpected. But, but, but girls, this dress doesn't look anything like my design. Hmm. But I like this detail here. Oh, and this lace over here. And these buttons are quite <laughs> clever. But the whole thing seems like too many of uh, different designs in one. I know. Huh? huh? What are you doing? You're not doing a new design, are you? Oh, no, no, no. I'm writing the elves a note. Well, you could just tell us and... <gasps> Dear elves, please concentrate on uh, one idea and go with it. <laughs> Gratefully yours, Raspberry Tart. So you see the problem? I really think the best solution is to go with my idea. But I don't know how to tell the girls in the nicest way so I don't make them feel like I'm, you know, putting down their dress designs. And how many nights have you girls been fashion sprites? Elves. Sorry, I've lost count. Um, four? I, tell you what, I'm about to open the cafe, so why don't you come back at five today and we'll talk it over. I think I'll have an answer by then. Oh, that's great. Okay, thanks, Strawberry. So what do you think? How can I convince them to go with my idea and not hurt their feelings? Lemon, I'm having trouble hearing. Can you come by the cafe at, say, five o'clock? And I'm sure I'll have an answer for you. Five? Great, thanks, Strawberry. 
Oh, you've got to help me. My idea is just simplest, that's all, but I don't want to appear bossy, you know. I have to get back to the cafe, but come by at, say, five, and we'll talk it over. Strawberry, you said five o'clock, right? Oh, uh, hi, Blueberry. I'll be with you in just a second. <gasps> oh, uh, hey. Hi, Hiya. How are you? Hi, all. Tea? Muffins? I know. Smoothies! But I thought you said we'd be meeting in private. No, I didn't. I'm sorry, girls, but I just don't feel comfortable taking secret meetings. I have a feeling this is something that we need to get out in the open. I mean, none of you would like the idea of something being done behind your back, would you? But it was only... We didn't mean to, Strawberry! <laughs> we were not just trying to... It's okay. It's okay. I know you wanted to help Raspberry, which is very sweet. I just think being secret fashion elves might not be the best way. But we had to. I offered to help her, but she wanted to do it all by herself. Helping is good, but... <sighs> Well, Pardon the interruption, but here are three of my latest versions of your poem for your review, Miss Shortcake. What were you saying, Strawberry? Oh, it's just sometimes you want to make something your own way. You know, it's nice to know you can do some things all on your own. All on your own. Yes. Hmm. Strawberry's right. We should tell her the truth. Oh, but how? She'll be so disappointed. I'd rather make ten more dresses than disappoint Raspberry. Maybe the trouble is that we weren't working together. Let's all agree on one design and start over. Morning's a wasting. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I've gotten used to oversleeping now that all my work is being done for me. Wow. Oh, it's perfect. It's absolutely amazing. Then why do you look so sad? Hmm. Because I didn't make it. I really wanted to make something sweet for Strawberry that was all from me to her. My own design, all made by me. I can't take credit for this, though, even if it is really fabulously fantastic. Although the elves could surely use some practice with their cross-stitching. See, but I'm worried I'm going to hurt the elves' feelings. But I have one more day to make Strawberry's dress, and I'm going to ask them to let me do it all by myself. Listen, Raspberry, you don't need to write the note. There's, um, something we need to tell you. It's just that I really want to read everyone a poem of my own. Oh, of course. Uh, you're perfectly right, Miss Shortcake. I I'm afraid I got a bit carried away. I hope you know how much I always appreciate your help, Mr. Longface. As I appreciate yours, Miss Shortcake, your poem reawakened my long-lost love of poetry. Oh. oh, girls, I know you were just trying to help. Well, if I fail, at least Strawberry could wear the dress you made. Well, I've got a lot of work to do. Maybe there's another way we can help you, Raspberry. Huh? You know, if it's too simple, Strawberry, I have a backup dress that is... Oh, I'd know a raspberry design anywhere. It's beautiful. I've done a lot of things so far, but never wished on a falling star. I've heard they're sparkly, fast and white, with glittery tails that light the night. Maybe. They look kind of prickly or furry. Someday I'll know, but I'm in no hurry. Who knows where I'll see one or when? 
I guess I'll just save up my wishes till then. In the meantime, I'm just having fun. Imagining the time when I do see one. <laughs> special berry seeds, so I can't afford a vacation just now. These new berry plants will really do great things for the berry works and everyone in Berry Bibby City. Oh, but Berry can bloom. You gave up your vacation last year to sit with my sick petunias. And the year before that to help bring in the berry harvest. <sighs> Maybe next year. Well, I'd better get these seeds into pots. Wait, don't you want to see the new issue of Berry Bibby World Traveler? Oh, I'll, uh, take a look when I'm closer to taking the vacation. Works too hard, that bloom. Not good for a berrykin. Hi, Orange. I just saw Berrykin bloom, and he seemed not very happy. Fantastic! Well, not really. I'd say more sort of, um, sad. Well, no, I mean, fuck! The magazine is holding a contest. Anyone who can break a Berry Bitty World record wins a vacation of their dreams. That's what'll cheer up Berry Can Bloom, a vacation. And I have an idea how to get him one. It's a very good idea, Orange. Good. Oh, it's great. Berry Can Bloom really deserves a vacation. But breaking a world record to get him one? What can we do that's world record worthy? Well, what are we all good at? You're an expert cook. Raspberry's an amazing fashion designer. <laughs> and Plum, you're such a talented dancer. <laughs> Thank you. We're all good at lots of things. So which one of us should try and break a record? Well, that's my other idea. If we all try to break a record, each of us doing something different, we'd have a better chance of one of us winning the contest. Oh, let's do it! Orange, you're in charge. Oh, uh, okay. The Berry Bitty World Record is twice as high as this souffle. Well, gotta keep trying. Shh, don't tell. Hello, Mr. Longface. Berry can bloom. Good day, Miss Shortcake. Good morning. Any specials today? Uh, why, yes. Strawberry souffle. Oh, sounds delicious. I'll have some too, please. <laughs> Coming right up. 
As I was saying, Mr. Bloom, I've been reading this fascinating history of strange sicknesses, bizarre ailments that anyone could catch. <sighs> My goodness, how catchy are these um, things we could catch? Oh, very catchy. Sneak up on you without warning. I'm on a chapter now about a disease called Goofa Lupus Wackyitis. It causes people to do strange, funny-looking things, things they've never done before and that don't make any sense. Enjoy. Mm, wonderful. Oh, thank you. Blueberry, anything else I can help with before I leave for lunch? No, that's everything, Bosley Bookworm. Thank you. Well, see you after lunch then. See, see you, you, Bosley. Bosley. <laughs> Hello? Berry Bitty World Traveler Magazine? I'm calling about your contest for the free vacation. Well, I just wanted to let you know that there are some very big records that are about to be broken over here in Berry Bitty City. But, but, how many? I'd say about six records. Oh, I don't know what they'll be. Just that they'll be big. Very big. You'll send an official contest, Judge? Friday? Perfect. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Well, it's all set. All set? But, Orange, I'm not sure we're prepared. Prepared? I've been stacking cans in my store for I don't know how long. I'm an expert, and that Judge is going to see a stack of canned goods like never before. Uh, okay, but, but what? Remember, you're in charge. What should we do? Oh, I guess I kind of jumped ahead. I'm sorry. Um, okay. I'll make sure everyone has picked something to break a record with. Good idea. What are we gonna do? Maybe if I help you come up with something, it will help me come up with something. Oops. Oh, guess we're not going any higher. I can't stack them outside. They'll get dirty. I know. How's it coming along, Raspberry? <laughs> well, I'm trying to make the very biggest dress ever. <laughs> I tried to make the smallest dress ever, but I couldn't see that small to make those silly stitches. Looking good. Keep at it. The contest judge is coming Friday. Oh, what? <laughs> Looking good. Ah! Sorry, Lemon. I didn't mean to startle you. Oh, it's okay. It wasn't really record breaking anyway. <sighs> I tried everything I can think of, even painting toenails faster than anyone did before. Ooh, how'd that work out? Oh. Well, think quick. You've got until the day after tomorrow. That's when the judge gets here. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Mariba Ernold Shoot Slipper? Oh, what? Ugh. The record for reading stuff upside down is safe. I simply cannot stand on my head for that long. I'm sorry. Good try, though. Having fun? You try and dance while walking on your hands. Hmm? Show me. Uh, I don't think I can. I've been practicing for hours. But, okay, for you. That is incredible. Try they. Treasure the find, could they? Top the to get, could they only if? Oh, that time was slower than the last. I'm not sure that breaking the record for reading backward is what I'm best at. Come on, we may be bitty, but I know we can do big things. Okay. <sighs> Times many mountain, the climb to try they. Treasure the find, could they? Top the to get, could they only if? Times many mountain, the climb to try they. Treasure the find, could they? Top the to get, could they only if? Whoa! <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> what? Oh, my hair. Um, I'm having a problem with the dyes. Can I help you?
help you with something, Barry Kim Bloom? Uh, I, I was worried about. Uh... <laughs> Whoa! Uh, oh, bitter berries. <laughs> Plum? <laughs> what are you uh, uh, worried about? Uh, well, uh, she. Uh, I mean, uh, that is, uh, Miss Lemon. Don't you think she's acting a bit strangely? Mm, no. But. Oh, well, you know, she just really loves to exercise. Oh. Oh, well, uh, if that's all it is. Would you like a mineral salt foot soak? <laughs> No, thank you. I think I'd better get this plant into the ground. Well, uh, see you soon. I mean, around. Okay, bye. Ugh, foot soak. Good one, Lemon. Nothing I try seems good enough. In a record-breaking way, I mean. Not to mention, Barry Kim Bloom is getting suspicious. Which he wouldn't have if you hadn't been practicing your record-breaking in broad daylight. Where else can I practice? My studio's too small. Girls, please, let's not pick her. Who said that? She did! Why do we have to meet like this anyway? Because Barry Kim Bloom is out there tonight checking his night-blooming jasmines. I think my big dress is just silly. The judge is gonna laugh at me. Guys, guys, where's our can-do spirit? Orange is the only one who has can-do spirit. Stacking can-do spirit, that is. Ha, ha, ha. That's good, because the person in charge should have can-do spirit. Being in charge is harder than I thought. Oh, come on, girls. You must be able to think of something, but not for me. Remember, this is for Berrykin Bloom. Hey! <laughs> Oh, dear. Wait, Orange, your can stacking. It gives me an idea. What? Maybe we need to share ideas instead of doing it all alone. Maybe instead of cooking things, I could stack fruit. <laughs> the highest fruit tower in Berry Bitty World. Yeah. And after you win, we can eat it. You know what, Strawberry? Your poofiest highest souffle idea gives me an idea, too. Maybe I'll try a poofiest highest hairdo. Oh, boy, that's terrific. Oh, but what about me? I'm running out of material for that big dress I'm stitching. That's it. What about a dress with the most stitches? I mean, you've done so many of them in that big dress already, and no one can stitch faster than you. Oh, yes! Thank you, Blueberry. I'm using it. And you know what? No one can read out loud faster than you. Why don't you go for the record of reading really fast instead of upside down and uh, backwards and, well, you know. I can't believe I didn't think of that before. Thanks, Raspberry. See, girls? I knew we could do it if we helped inspire each other a little. What about you, Plum? Uh, I don't know. What about pirouettes? Oh, the most pirouettes in a row! Hey, yeah! Girls, we've got it! All our worries are over! Skipping backwards, eh? Yes, and this orange has been taking her merchandise and stacking it outside. Ooh, a classic case of goofa lupus wackyitis. <laughs> Thank goodness you brought this to my attention. There's no time to lose. Oh, dear. Uh, but are you sure that we need to bring the doctor? Very sure. <laughs> Okay, time to take charge. Today's the day. You ready? Wow, you look like the world's biggest souffle. Is that good? No, that's great. Orange. Oh, hi, Bosley Bookworm. Are you off and running? Uh, pogoing? Well, yes. I'll let you hop to it then. See you later. 
wise old owl lived in an oak. The more he saw, the less he spoke. The less he spoke, the more he heard. Why can't we all be like that wise old bird? A wise old owl lived in an oak. The more he saw, the less he spoke. The less he spoke, the more he heard. Why can't we all be like that wise old bird? Oh, not fast enough for the world record. Faster, faster! The judge is coming this way. A wise old owl lived in an oak. The more he saw, the less he spoke. It's so good of you to come, Dr. Nutby. At first it was just Miss Plum, but then it seemed to spread. Oh, my. Hmm, I personally have never come across this. You'd best inform Princess Berrykin. No telling how far this is going to spread. Oh, tragic. Very sad. What can be done? I'd better see the other patients. Rang. Are you in there? Oh, oh, I'll be right there! <gasps> oh. oh no, wait! I'm sure I can get it as poofy as it was! Uh, poofier even! Miss Meringue, she has other girls she needs to see. You're right. It wouldn't be fair. Hm? I've never seen anything like this. Well, what do you think? I think you better stop, Miss Plum. <gasps> oh, well. I just get too dizzy. Dizziness. Hmm. But wait until you see Raspberry. We were just on our way. Now, now, it's best not to exert yourself, my dear. Oh, no. You mean you can already tell? It doesn't have enough stitches. Oh! <laughs> well, I'm sure you'll be amazed by what Strawberry is doing. Yes, I'm sure we will. <laughs> I'm afraid this is beyond medical science. It is worse than you described. I'm going to call in more doctors. There's no telling how far this could spread. Oh. didn't get to take a measurement. I'm going to take your temperature. I've never seen anything so severe in all my days as a doctor. Doctor? Dr. Hazelnutby. Now, stick out your tongue, say, ah, uh, and uh. tell me, why have you been stacking fruit? To break a world record so we can win the contest. <sighs> she believes she's in a contest. But, but we are in a contest, all of us. Aren't you the judge? I'm the doctor. Mr. Longface called me in to help you because you are all sick. But we're not sick. Now, girls, you can't deny your strange behavior. Hopping and twirling. And stacking cans and cartwheeling and... We were trying to help Orange win a vacation for you. A vacation? For me? If we break a very bitty world record, we'll win a free vacation from the travel magazine. And we... we're going to give it to you. Oh, oh dear. That's the most wonderful... I can't believe it. But we failed. I don't think we failed. Orange, you really took charge and inspired us to do much better. <laughs> Higher, bigger, faster than we all imagined we could. Even if none of us broke a world record. Uh, but one of you did break a world record. We did? How do you know? I am the contest judge from the magazine. You? Bosley Bookworm? Yes, they have representatives all over. My, it is hard keeping up with you girls. My stack of cans? Is that how we broke the record? No, your pogo stick bounces. I have been counting them since I saw you on it a while ago. And look, your hopometer confirms it. You've had ten more continuous bounces than the old record holder. Yeah! <laughs> Congratulations, Berry Kinbloom. The girls have won you a dream vacation to anywhere in the world. I don't know what to say. I'm just so relieved they don't have a goofaloop. Uh, what was it? Goofaloopus wackyitis. It's all right here in my medical book. Goofa what? 
Oh, Mr. Longface, this isn't a medical book, it's a joke book. It is? Yes, it's just a comedy book full of silly made-up maladies. My goodness, uh, I, I'm very sorry. I guess uh, <laughs> the joke's on me. Don't worry, Mr. Longface, it all worked out. Now that my Tower of Fruit is on the ground, who wants to come in the cafe and celebrate Verican Bloom's vacation with a big helping of... <laughs> Strawberry Souffle! I don't wish to intrude on your get-together. You mean, give together? <laughs> <laughs> don't go, Mr. Longface. Come on in. We're just finishing up making our wrapping paper. And I need to mash the applesauce some more. Oh, if only I had a good masher. Would you like a taste, Mr. Longface? Oh, no, thank you, Miss Shortcake. I don't care for applesauce, sorry to say. Uh, just some tea, please. Here you go. Thank you very much. Ah, perfect. I noticed that the whole town seems to be gearing up for something special today. Do you know what that would be? He doesn't know. It's First Frost. First Frost? Never heard of it. Is that like Second Helpings? Oh, Muffin Crumbs, I forgot. You haven't been in Berry Bitty City long enough to know what First Frost is. Wow, it's his first First Frost. <laughs> Why, it's just the biggest day ever. Actually, astronomically speaking, it's one of the smallest days, in that it's one of the shortest days due to the sun rising late and setting early. Uh, being winter and all. <sighs> As you were saying, when winter comes, there's a huge special glimmerberry harvest. Everyone carves berry lanterns. And we have a glimmerberry ball. It signifies the first sign of winter time of year. It's tradition. And you give presents. <laughs> oh, no. That's just a fun little custom we girls have. The Berrykins and the Bumblebees and everyone have first for us traditions. Giving presents is ours. Secret presents. We each pick a name of one another and then we secretly give a gift to that person. Without them seeing which of us gave it. Last year, I got a new yellow and pink comforter. And I got a mile-long scarf with sparkles. Leg warmers for dancing on cold days. A beautiful chest set with multiple modeling clay pieces. A retractable step ladder. Oh, Can't wait. wait. Yeah. I'll get this me yeah. too. Well, that sounds wonderful. I think Mr. Longface might be feeling left out. Let's invite him to be part of our secret gifting. That's so sweet. Yes, yes. yes. let's. Mr. Longface? Would you like to join our gift-giving tradition? Oh, my. I really don't think... Well, you needn't... Please say yes, Mr. Longface. We'd love it if you were part of our little tradition. Well, then, I'd be honored. Yay! <laughs> Great. But could I ask a favor? May we borrow your hat? My... 
my hat? Okay, everyone drop your name into the hat. You too, Mr. Longface. Oh, this is so exciting. <laughs> around and around our names all go. Who gets whose is a secret that no one may know. Oh, I wonder who I got. Me too. Me three. And now for you, Mr. Longface. She's going to love this. 1,001 ways to keep your books organized. Uh, this is going to be the best first brass gift ever. A whole chapter on how to stack books vertically. Ten chapters on how to reorganize your books after they've fallen off a shelf. <sighs> no, no, no. I have to give this gift to Lemon. Uh, uh, it's her gift. Don't let anyone see you. Don't let anyone see you. <laughs> so, I was thinking maybe <gasps> the green stripe would look better. Shh! Did you hear something? Uh, no. Oh, I thought I heard something. Yeah. What secret gift I get, though it can't be nearly as great as the one I gave Lemon. Oh, I wonder what it is! <laughs> wow, a book! A book about organizing books? Chapter 72 Big Books and Little Books Together on One Shelf? Not as impossible as it seems? Oh, what am I gonna do with this? But it is the biggest first frost gift ever. I got it! This is the perfect secret gift for my secret giftie. Plum! She's gonna love it! So, you know, I just thought and thought about what to give my secret giftie. Mr. Longface. Something he would really, really like. <laughs> Thanks, Pupcake. And then it hit me. A plant for the entrance to his croquet club. And I know just the perfect plant. Oh, oops, I almost forgot my rope. <laughs> wow! That's the most ginormous first frost gift I've ever seen! I knew that was a good choice for Plum! Oh, nice! A book! Chapter 137, Sorting Your Encyclopedias. The A to Z of how to and how not to. Hmm... Maybe not exactly the most must-have gift I've ever received for First Frost. I know! My secret gift, the Orange, likes to sort things. I bet she'd love this! Uh. <gasps> oh, yes, yes. Indeed, yes. It is getting chilly these days, Miss Jadybug. Uh, you know, I have an extra hat you could borrow. Very warm. <laughs> Hello? Well, hello! <laughs> Aren't you the 
most wonderfully oversized first frost gift. Grab and move. Grab and move. Here it is. Mr. Longface will be thrilled when he sees his gift. And I'm gonna get it for him. Ugh, no matter what. Ta-da! Raspberry will love a gift. Uh, this big. She could use it as a footstool when she sews. Or to hide a refrigerator. I did it! Oh, Mr. Longface is gonna love you, little plant. Huh? 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 You! Oh, muffin crumbs. Ooh, hibiscus always makes my nose itch. Okay, let her down. <laughs> Blueberry is going to flip over getting such a great big book. She loves books. Oh, hey, thanks, guys. I wonder who that could be. Hello? Is anybody out there? Wow! That's the most incredibly, gigantic, enormously splendiferous first frost gift I've ever seen! Just what I always wanted! Oh, look at this! And this! Oh, cross-referencing by date of printing! Who would have thought of that? Wait a second. This is the book I gave to Lemon. Didn't she like it? And how did it get back to me? I'm going to get to the bottom of this. Secret gift or no secret gift. So, Lemon, um, how about this first frost, huh? It was as first frosty as a first frost can be, I thought. Very firsty, as a matter of fact. And our presents. Oh, I've already given, yes I did. First frost thing in the morning, actually. Really? Wow. Well, um, not me. I haven't given my secret gift yet. So you couldn't be my secret giftie, so you can tell me what you got because I didn't give it to you. <laughs> right? What? I said... What? Two, three, um, two, three. Did you get your secret gift, two, three? Well, two, three. Really? Two, three. I don't have it anymore. Two, three. One, two, three. What? Two, three. I kind of felt my gifty would have more use for it. Two, three. Since she's always sorting stuff. Two, three. Oh, no. I gave it away. <laughs> now you'll know who my secret gifty is. You mean orange? Sorting? Yeah. <gasps> Don't worry, I won't tell. Where are you going? We still have the foxtrot to practice. Oh, it was tense, I'm telling you. I zigzagged past the cafe, ducked into the bushes, sneaked through the gazebo, hid under the bridge, doubled back, and I was there. Nobody ever saw me. And then I carefully set my gift down, knocked on the door, and ran. And what was your gift? Well, it was something I felt my gifty might use to rest her feet on while she's sewing. <gasps> Oops! Oh, I guess I gave away who my gifty was. I don't have a clue, but I have to run. See you later. Wait a minute. So Raspberry got the book from Orange, who got the book from Plum, who got the book from Lemon, who got the book from me. Did Raspberry give the book to me, or did Strawberry? And what about Mr. Longface? Oh, I forgot about Mr. Longface. This is very complicated. I can't believe no one likes my gift. I know I did. Strawberry? Oh. Don't look, don't look! Oh, I'm sorry, Strawberry. I guess I spoiled your secret. Don't 
Don't worry, you're not my secret giftee. It's Mr. Longface. But Strawberry, hibiscus makes your nose itch. Achoo! I know, but it's not a gift for me. Mr. Longface has been wanting one for the entrance to his club, and I just knew it would be the perfect gift for him. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. What's the matter, Blueberry? You seem kind of sad. You, um, didn't happen to get a big gift that was a big book that you didn't like big time. Excuse me? No one liked my first Frost gift. See, I had this book on sorting books that I thought was great, so I gave it to Lemon after wrapping it up all in yellow paper and yellow bow. And then Raspberry gave it to me with blue wrapping paper on it and a blue bow. Unless it was Mr. Longface, but I don't think it was. So no one liked my gift. I'm so sorry, Blueberry. A book is a wonderful gift. That's what I thought. But maybe if it's for Lemon, it should be a book about something she likes. Like watercolor painting or skin care. You know how much Lemon likes those things. Oh. Oh. You're right, Strawberry. I was thinking about what kind of gift I would like, not Lemon. Not very first frost of me. You know, I know a book Lemon would like. I better get it wrapped and give it to her right now. Well, I'm glad that's settled. <laughs> I better get this to Mr. Longface right now. Hi, Blueberry. Come back to let me finish your hair? Um, no, Lemon. Uh, I know this is supposed to be secret, but I need to give this gift to you in person and explain why. But... What for? It's for First Frost. But, uh, uh, I already got a secret gift. I know, I gave it to you. But it wasn't a secret gift that you would like. It was something I would like. So, here's a secret gift I think you'll like. Oh, Blueberry! The very big book of bountiful braiding. Just what I always wanted. That's the perfect First Frost gift for me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh what? Uh-oh, I just realized I didn't give Plum the perfect first frost gift. I just gave her the book you gave me. I know. Sorry, Blueberry. Wait! I have just the thing for Plum. you wouldn't like it as much as the very big book on book sorting. This gift is even better because it shows me that you really thought about what I like, something only a friend would know. <laughs> Isn't this great? Oh, wonderful! <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, that's lovely, Raspberry. And look how high you can go, Orange. And those shoes really make you dance even better, Plum. Oh, I can't wait oh, either. Great. Great. Oh, <laughs> uh -oh. Um, I know that this has been a strange first frost, and I just wanted to apologize for not thinking of my friend Lemon when I gave her a gift. And I want to apologize to Plum. And I want to apologize to Orange. Oh, and I want to apologize to Raspberry. Oh, and. I want to apologize to Blueberry. Do you forgive me? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I know I'll always think about the person I'm going to give a gift to in the future and not myself. Me too! <laughs> now that's what I call a great first frost. Oh, but hey, Strawberry, you never showed us your secret gift. Yeah! yeah! A super duper apple masher! Just what I always wanted. Mr. Longface must have gotten it for you. And he doesn't even like applesauce. Aw, isn't that sweet? Oh, what a nice gift! And so thoughtful. He gave a gift he knew you needed and would love. 
seems like we can learn something from Mr. Longface. Yeah, that's uh, that's that's right. Right. Happy first frost, Miss Shortcake. Thank you so much for my apple masher, Mr. Longface. You're very well. But I thought it was a secret. Some gifts are so thoughtful, they can't be kept secret. And what did you get, Mr. Longface? I must admit that I've not received any gift at all. Did I do something wrong? Maybe there was some form I forgot to fill out. Hmm. Maybe you should check your hat and see if your name got accidentally left in there. My hat? Ahem. <clears throat> oh, my goodness. Oh, <laughs> this is the best gift I could have gotten. And your smile is the best gift I could have gotten. Happy first frost, everyone. Fine, and, uh, what are you doing? I'm taking him home, but someone's got to take care of him. Poor little guy, all alone in the big world. Come here, little guy. Orange, wait, we... Come on, little. What? You can trust me. Yeah, I won't hurt you. Ah. Huh? Listen for a sec, okay? I'm listening, I'm listening, but <laughs> he's going to get away. <laughs> hey, that I just ask that you consider something. He might be cute and little now, but he's going to grow. And then he might be harder to take care of. You are most <laughs> you are most likely right, Strawberry. But you always say, even though we're bitty, we're capable of big <laughs> things. <laughs> I mean, someone's got to take care of him. <laughs> hey, where is he? Look, you see? He wants to come home with me. I think I'll name you... Butch. Butch? He looks like a butch. He looks like trouble. Cute as he is. But it's up to you, Orange. Aw, oh, come on, Strawberry. Don't you trust me? Of course, but... Well, I'm gonna prove it to you. I'm gonna take better care of this fish than any fish has ever been taken care of before. I'm going to feed you and read to you every night. <gasps> oh, I can't wait to read you my favorite stories. And we'll give you a beautiful home where you'll be safe and warm. Oh, I mean cool. <laughs> Just wait till you see. You're gonna love it there. What's his name? Stuart. Isn't that the cutest name you ever heard for a fish? Stuart? Where is he, Orange? Oh, look! He's super cute! Hi, Lemon! Hello, Plum! Hi, Raspberry! Hi, Lemon! Oh, what a doll! Where's your fish? You can name him Pish! Or Mush! Or Swish! His name is Todd. I thought it was Stuart. Oh, <laughs> catchy and cute. And dignified to boot. And look what I taught him to do! Todd, you've outgrown five times. 
snacks in two days. Here you go, boy. That's a good boy. If that one doesn't work for you, Strawberry, I have one with pictures. Oh, I love the ones with pictures. Blueberry? Oh, hi, Strawberry. Uh, seen Blueberry? I'm right here. Emergency. Todd sick. I, I need books on fish care, fish diseases, fish cures, fish medicine. Oh, no. What's wrong with him? List the symptoms, please. Well, he has growths. Ugh. Oh, Todd, I'm so sorry. Where did I go wrong? I've tried to give him everything a fish needs. I know you have. Everything a fish could want. I know you did. Everything a fish, he's not a fish. <gasps> he's a tadpole. A, a tadpole? What's that? A baby. Frog. <gasps> Todd is a fish! He's a frog. Todd's a frog? Well, he will be soon. He'll grow arms and legs and lose his tail. This process is called metamorphosis. So, um... So, at least he's not sick. But it might be best to take him back to the stream, huh? What? I, I can't do that. I, I promised to take care of him. But that's when you thought he was a fish. It's just that, well, isn't a frog more than you bargained for? I am not going to turn my back on him just because he switched species. He, Tad, can't help it if he's a frog. Okay, ready? And lift! <laughs> there, that's the front panel. Front panel of what, Raspberry? Oh, I didn't show you. You didn't see? Well, here, come here, come over here. <laughs> this is great. <sighs> I know, I know, you don't have the words. Um, fabulous, maybe? Inspired, tremendous, cutting edge. <laughs> See, um, Orange appointed me fashion designer. I'm designing all the outfits for her and Tad. See, next week, she'll ride him in a dressage and jumping show with both of them sporting Raspberry's Frog Forward Fashions. <laughs> Orange says it'll be great publicity. You know, I'll probably, most likely, well, hopefully, well, maybe, you know, have, a, have my own pet apparel line in stores by next fall. Uh-huh. <laughs> I can't tie the bowl of you. Huh? Behave. Oh, no, we do not drink the shampoo. Oh, now, please. <gasps> Wait, close the door. We'll get loose. Orange thinks I'll do great business if I branch out into pet grooming. Huh? And now, some cologne. He's kind of stinky. All right, wait a minute. Ah! Oh no! Catch him! Dad? I'm sorry, Orange. He looked perfectly adorable. Then something scared him. Maybe he doesn't like Berrylicious Lavender. Maybe the bow's too girly for him. Maybe he doesn't like the color. Or maybe frogs don't wear bows. Huh? Orange, it's just that... I don't think frogs are supposed to be washed or dressed up. Maybe it would be best to let him go in the wild. Out there? All alone? Oh, no, 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 no. He, he's much better off with me. Uh, come on, Dad. Uh, thanks, Lemon. Uh, I'll bring him back tomorrow, okay? I'll have a talk with him. He'll be better behaved. Uh, I promise. Can't wait. What is that? I promise, it's not my stomach. We believe you. I have a feeling I know just what it might be. Oh, no. 
Tad doing his night croaking. How can we do our night sleeping? Maybe the croaking is just a stage, and he'll grow out of it. That'll probably be the only thing he doesn't grow out of. Where's Orange? She turned in early. She was tired from chasing Tad around. Come on, girls. Let's think of a way to get him to go to sleep. Uh, hot milk. No, not that. Uh, a uh, blanket. No, never mind. Hmm. Oh, a, a lullaby? Uh, no. Wait, what was that? Uh, a lullaby? Sing a lullaby to a frog. I like it. Good idea. Yeah. Close your eyes, little frog. Time to please stop your croaking. Pleasant dreams, little frog. Won't you finally go to sleep? Huh? Who? What? Is he? Shh, shh, shh. Let's go. Five minutes? It's been more like five hours. I wonder where she could be. Ugh, I need to get some light bulbs for my reading lamps. Still closed, huh? She was closed yesterday, too. I want to paint this beautiful tulip in the meadow, but I'm out of brushes. Well, I guess I'll just have to make a sculpture of the tulip instead. I wish you could sculpt me a light bulb. <laughs> to hurt himself having to hop too much. Orange, what are you doing? Building a swimming pool for Tad, isn't it? Great. Orange, um, promise to let me use it to teach water ballet classes if I help dig. <gasps> <laughs> well, I got to admit, Orange, you're sure giving him the best. Everything he needs. <laughs> Mrs. Drewberry came home and discovered the kittens had unraveled her yarn. Oh, excuse me. Strawberry's Cafe, hope you're having a very nice day. Strawberry speaking. Oh, my. Yes, right away, Princess Berrykin. I just turned around and see what I found? Our very juicy ruined. I'm very sorry, Princess. I'll talk to Orange. Thank you, Strawberry. And a graceful lift with the left arm. Uh, please, everyone. This is water belly, not wood chopping. <laughs> <laughs> and now, everyone, with grace and style, I'd like you to <gasps> look out! Interrupted by Tad. I'll talk to her, I promise. Oh, strawberry! It's the very worst! I mean, I can't tell you it's it's what is it, Raspberry? What's happened? I'm upset! I can see that you are. What upset you? It's all my work! My sewing and stitching and your frog forward fashions. Let me guess, Tad didn't like them. No! He loved them so much, he ate them! My goodness! And all Orange said was, he's just a frog. He didn't know what he was doing. That doesn't sound like the Orange we know. No! It sounds like the Orange who's got a pet that's become more important to her than, than manners! I'll talk to her. Strawberry! Orange, what's Orange. 
What's the matter? It's Dad! He's, he's gone! Now don't worry. Everyone's out looking. I'm sure the Berrykins will find him any minute now. He couldn't have gone very far. I did everything I could for him. I kept him cool when he was hot, warm when he was cold, bathed him, sheltered him, rented him. No frog has ever been so loved, and, and, and now he ran away. Huh? <laughs> I found your pet. <gasps> Look, up there! There, there he is! Yeah. Todd! What are you doing up there? You come down here this instant. <laughs> now he's asleep. <laughs> I'll wake him up. Um. I don't think that's such a good idea. Hello! Wake up, Froggy! Oh, gee. Everyone knows you to be so kind and considerate. But I think maybe you've been trying to be so kind and considerate to Tad that you've forgotten about everyone else. But you guys are my friends. My very best friends. I could never forget you. What I mean is, Tad has caused a bit of trouble and... But he doesn't know any better. Exactly. I think being responsible for a pet means taking responsibility for any trouble he causes. Because the pet really doesn't know any better. I know. I need to do a better job of being responsible for Tad. I'm doing everything I can think of. I, I don't know what else to do. Well, maybe the best way to care for Tad is to not care for Tad. What do you mean? Orange. I just don't know if Tad belongs here. Oh, Strawberry, please give him, I mean me, another chance. I promise he'll never be any trouble to anyone in Berry Beauty City again. But how? You'll see. I'll, I'll train him. You said even though we're bitty, we're capable of big things. And I know I can do this. I won't turn my back on my responsibility to Tad. Well... Wow! I've never seen it so neat and tidy in here before. I wanted to do something nice to make it up to you for Tad eating the fashions. Thank you, Orange. Really? It's all mine? I promise Tad will never bother your classes again. Thank you, Orange. I'm hoping the Berrykins will accept some frog rights to make up for all the trouble we caused. Oh! Well... <laughs> Not having much fun, huh, big guy? Yeah. Oh, hi, Strawberry. Hi, Orange. I came to tell you everyone is so pleased about how you apologized for Tad's troubles. <laughs> Everything is back to normal in Berry Bitty City. Oh, that's good. I know it's been difficult, but I know if it meant doing the right thing for Tad, you could do something even more difficult. Of course! 
course. I'd do anything for Tad. What is it that's more difficult than all the things I've done so far? I mean, those were big things. What's bigger than that? Letting him go. Oh, Strawberry. Sometimes the very biggest things we have to do are the things we can't even see. There it is. Do you think he's going to think I don't love him? Oh, I'm worried he'll never get over it. Oh, Tad, I know this is difficult. Try to be strong. <gasps> say goodbye. But did you see how happy he was? Yeah, you're right. He wasn't just happy. He was the happiest I've ever seen him. Oh, and that makes me happy too. How about a picnic? I think that is a very good idea. <laughs> <laughs> is in charge of the Wanderberry Hunt. And you're the Berry Fest Princess this year. So you tell us where to look. Lead on, oh fearless leader. <laughs> Very well, faithful Berry Hunters. As your most leaderly leader, I hereby decree we look... Hmm, um, how about over that way? Begging the princess's pardon, but the really amazing plants grow over by the creek. I bet it's that way. I read somewhere that Wanderberries like shade. I say we check under those tall flowers. <laughs> I'm so sure we'll find it hiding in there somewhere. Wanderberries need sun. It's gotta be over there. <laughs> Guess they all have their own ideas, huh? I have a feeling we'll find it over here. Just a hunch, but that's what my heart's telling me. Come on, you two. <laughs> okay, Custard, Popcake, keep your eyes open. Only one Wanderberry plant grows at a time. And it could be anywhere. Could be right under our noses. <laughs> oh! <laughs> there it is. The one and only, one of a kind, <gasps> Wanderberry. <gasps> Isn't it the most very beautiful thing you've ever seen? Careful, Pupcake. This berry is going to be our dessert at the Berry Fest feast tomorrow. <laughs> Whoa, are you all right, Berry Kim Blue? Uh, yes, thank you, Miss Shortcake. Had a little stumble, took a little tumble, as I was looking for. <sighs> You found it. Oh, my, 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 yes, yes, yes. A fine specimen this year. About the biggest I've ever seen. Oh, the color so rich. The shape just so, the texture, oh, amazing. Oh, and the aroma, oh yes. Perfect in every way. Oh, Custard, no. Yes, Pat, we must take care. There is but one of these delicious, nutritious berries at any given time. And how fitting that you, our new Berry Fest princess, should have found it. Found it? Found it? Who found it? Strawberry! Strawberry found it! <laughs> Look at it! Isn't it something? Unbelievable! It's incredible! Oh, 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 oh,
Now, now, you know the tradition. It's the Berry Fest princess who plucks the berry. Oh, I knew that. Didn't you know that? I wanted yeah, to see yeah, if you yeah, did. Yeah. Huh? Princess Strawberry? I'd be honored. Mm. Oh, harder! You can do it! Come on, Strawberry! Give it a good shake! Oh, that's it! This moment, a new Wanderberry is springing up somewhere. Could it be here, or there, or there? We never ever know quite where. This thing's pretty heavy. It's gonna take all of us working together to get it back. Is everyone ready? Ready! Uh, Miss Shortcake? <gasps> What's the matter? Did you hear that? Uh, I didn't hear anything. Me neither. Me neither either. But listen. Very close. Oh, there it is again. How very beautiful. Oh, quite a lovely sound. I still don't hear anything. I hear my stomach growling. Oh, just thinking about our picnic tomorrow and having this berry for dessert. Oh. It stopped. I wonder why. All I know is we have to get this berry back. Uh, you're right, Orange Blossom. Let's get moving. Hee! Ho! Hee! Ho! Hee! Ho! Hee! Ho! And heave! And ho! How will we get the berry back now? Yeah, what'll we do, a wise leader? Just gonna have to carry it back, I guess. Oh, that thing must weigh at least a lot. We can do it, together. Come on, everybody, grab hold! Let's go with your legs. Okay, guys, count to three. One, two, three! <laughs> Hurry. It's getting dark. Yeah. Can't leave it way out here. Gotta get it back tonight. Right. Uh, we have a tradition to keep, you know? right? We should keep moving, right? Oh, it is tradition, <laughs> but you are the Berry Fest Princess, and this decision is yours to make. I know everyone is very tired. We're having the picnic here tomorrow. That's true. So we just have to bring it back. Yeah, I guess it'll be okay. Do you hear that? Mm. It sounds somehow different now. Almost like something's wrong. Maybe we should go look for it to make sure it's all right. Strawberry, strawberry, strawberry! It's a disaster! Disaster, disaster! What is? What's the matter? What's wrong? Oh, come on and see. Why wouldn't you tell me what... No! 
Is everything all right? The berry can tell me that... Oh. oh. My. We've been robbed by rabbits, burgled by bunnies, and they ate almost every last berry bit. Oh, I was really looking forward to a big berry dessert this afternoon. It just won't be the Berry Fest feast without it. Yeah, it's a tradition. When the old one disappeared, a new one popped up. Somewhere, right, Berry Kim Bloom? Oh, yes, uh, that's true. Quite true. Oh, right. We'll have a Wonder Berry after all. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love it. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go find it. I think there's something wrong with that bird. I think it needs me. I think we need you. You know, she's right. There's only about a ton of things to do around here. And since you're the Berry Fest princess this year, you're in charge of everything. You have to judge the flower show. And you need to help with the Berrykin Band concert. And there's the whole Berry Fest feast to plan. And you can't do anything till we find another Wanderberry? You're the leader. You have to decide what we do next. All right, all right. I will decide, Orange Blossom. You help the Berry Kim Band set up for their concert. Will do. Lemon Meringue, you get the flower show set up and pick the top three for me. I'm on it. Raspberry Tort, Plum Pudding, Blueberry Muffin. You'll help me get the food ready for the feast. And you, yes. I want you to go look for the new Wanderberry, okay? Woo-doo! Okay! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Forty-six and forty-seven. Right. Need about another dozen. All done with the flowers. Need any help in here? Oh, we'd love some help with the sandwiches. The Berry Kid Band's ready to go. Can I help you? We can use all the help we can get. You and I can work on the salad, Orange Blossom. See? We're going to be fine. As long as we work together, nothing can stop us. <gasps> Did you find the new Wonderberry? We looked everywhere. Two times. No, three. We couldn't find it. And we're as sorry as can be. <sighs> oh, no. How can we possibly have the Berry Fest feast without the Wonderberry? It's almost time for the picnic. You still have to pick a winner at the flower show. And there's the band concert, too. So what are we going to do, Strawberry? What are you gonna do, Strawberry? You're the leader here. Yeah, tell us, Strawberry. Well, what's gonna happen? What'll we do? Yeah, what? I don't know! I need a minute to think by myself. Was it just me, or did she seem a little stressed? Ugh, I have no clue what to do. It's all just oh, too much. Oh, there it is again. It's coming from over there, isn't it? It sounds like it's having some real trouble. I better go check on it. Oh, but they're waiting for me back there. What should I do? Oh, it's so hard to decide. It's never easy, is it? Oh, I want to make everybody happy, but they all want something different. I can't decide who to listen to first. Oh, you'll do the right thing. Don't worry that the others might disagree with you. Just listen to your heart, Strawberry Shortcake. You have a very good one, you know. Thank you. I'll tell your friends that you need a few minutes. I know what I have to do. I have to find that bird, but oh, which way now? Do you think it sounds weaker? Seems like it's coming from this way. Come on, you two, let's hurry. I still hear it. It's up here somewhere, I'm sure. You can do it, Pupcake. There you go, come on now. I 
think we're getting closer. Oh, I don't hear it anymore. Do you? Where could it be? What is it, Custard? Oh, you found the Wanderberry. It's smaller than the other one, but it's still very beautiful. I'll be careful not to lose this one. Strawberry! You found it! Oh, we were worried about you. Didn't know you were out here finding the Wanderberry all by yourself. Lucky for us, you're the Berry Fest princess this year. Come on, let's get it back to town. In just a moment. Uh, but why not now? Because first, I have to find that bird. Do you know where it is, Pupcake? <laughs> there it is! Oh, poor little fella. Oh my, this sweet little thing. What's the matter with it? I'm not sure. Oh dear, it's all tangled up. Can you get it loose, Strawberry? I think so. There, you're free. Go on, little birdie. You fly away now. We have to get this berry back home. Uh, Strawberry, you coming? Something's still wrong. Oh, it can't fly. Why not? I don't know. Uh, maybe it, it hurt its wing. Oh, we better leave it here and, and get a doctor. Or we could build a stretcher and carry it back to town. Yeah, those are very good ideas, but... What is it? Are you hungry? Uh, Strawberry? That's for the feast, remember? Let's see if it wants some. Does that make you feel better? I have some more. Oh, well, uh, uh, don't give it all. We can find some seeds or something. But this is helping. It's a very special plant. The Wonderberry is especially nutritious. If we don't get the berry back for the feast, everybody's gonna be really disappointed. Well, if they are, I'm sorry. But this is the right thing to do. I know it is. But how can you be so sure? I can't be completely sure, but I have to make what I feel is the best decision and go with it. I guess that's what being in charge is about. I've considered everybody's ideas, but now I have to do what I feel is right, even if it doesn't please everyone. You can't make a better decision than that. It is pretty, isn't it? Yeah, kind of beautiful. Here, little fella. That berry was just what it needed. I'm glad we listened to you, Strawberry. Otherwise, we never would have made up our minds on what to do. <laughs> That's why you're the leader, because you know how to stick with a good choice, even if it wasn't what the rest of us wanted. Thanks, guys. Strawberry! It's wonderful! What? What is it? Guess we're having a very fest feast after all. Is everybody ready for dessert? <laughs> I think there's enough to go around. But first, first, my friends, let's thank our hostess, our very fest princess, for this wonderful feast. Thank you, everybody. I'm just glad that... that... What's the matter, Strawberry? You speechless? No. Listen. That's the song it was singing the first time I heard it. No, I think it's a little different. I think this song is a song meant for you. True friends last forever, forever friends stay strong. True friends go together like melody and song. When I'm feeling blue, we smile our way through. Near or far, 
Strawberry, here! I know who this belongs to. Once upon a time, there was a princess who lived in a far, far, far away land, and she was... Oh! Ah! Oh. Oh. oh, excuse me. Here, let me help you up. Sorry. Yours? No. Mine? Mine. And the prince married the princess, and they live happily ever after. <sighs> There, finished it. Just in time for Blueberry's Book Club. Oh, here, Plum. Huh? Oh, thanks. I forgot where I left that. In the boat. Oh, yeah. That was it. I've been so busy practicing for my dance recital, I'd forget my hair if it wasn't attached. It, it is attached, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no problem. The boat drifted away, though. Maybe you forgot to tie it up. Mm, no, I tied it up. Maybe you forgot to use two knots? One knot, two knots, not that it matters. <laughs> well, it mattered to the Berrykins. They had to get the boat back from the middle of the lake. Uh, just saying, you know, two knots is the rule. Whose rule? I do not recall. <laughs> well, Lemons, it's her boat. Well, maybe it's a silly rule. But don't tell her I said so. I do not want to get in trouble. <laughs> Hi, Plum. What you mailing? Invitations to my dance recital. Great. Hey, I'm, I'm getting one, aren't I? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, J.D. Bug. Wow! There must be enough letters here for... for... For everyone who lives in Berry Bitty City and every last Berrykin in Berry Grove. Uh-huh. Wow! They all need to go out right away. Could you please stamp them extra special, super urgent, ultra fast delivery? <gasps> I... Uh, I get to use my extra special, super urgent, ultra fast delivery stamp? <laughs> They'll 
be delivered faster than you can say! Extra special super urgent ultra fast delivery! Thanks! An invitation to Plum's dance recital! Wow! Oh, wow! Wow! What? Something wrong, Miss Shortcake? The date of Plum's dance recital. She's holding it here at the Cafe Cabaret stage, which is fine. Except that I think the date she invited us for is already taken. Oh, no. Blueberry signed up for that very date. Wait a minute. Plum didn't sign up at all. Oh, must be some mistake. She knows the rule about signing up. Everybody does. Strawberry! Oh, hello, Mr. Longfeet. Hello, Miss Muffin. Strawberry, did you give Plum my cafe cabaret night? The baby Berrikins are going to be so disappointed. I'm supposed to read their favorite story to them. I did not give her your night. Plum must have forgotten to sign up, or, or to check if the date was taken, or... <sighs> it's all right. She'll have to reschedule her dance recital. But but she already sent all the invitations. Oh, poor Plum. I know. I feel badly. But fair is fair. And you followed the rules. And she didn't. Don't worry. I'll explain it to her. <sighs> well, okay. Thank you, Strawberry. I don't envy you having to tell Plum. I don't envy me either. Somebody's going to be very disappointed. Plum? Do you have a minute? Sure. Oh, did you get my invitation? Um, yes. That's just it. The day you invited everyone, the cabaret stage is taken already. <clears throat> Why? Well, you never signed up for it. But, okay, so I'll sign up now. It's too late. Blueberry reserved it weeks ago to read to the baby Berrykins. Oh, no. Could she switch it to another date? It's not her. It's the rules for the cafe. It's my rules. Well, can't we just change the rules this time? She could read to the baby Berrykins any night. That's not the point. She followed the rule, so it wouldn't be fair for her to have to move her night. Uh, but all those invitations! I made them myself, by hand! I'm sorry, Plum. I'll help you redo your invitations if you'd like. No, that's all right. I'll do them myself. Well... I'm really sorry, Plum. I'm here to help if you need me. Did you see Plum's new dance recital invitation? <laughs> I think it's the best joke she's ever played. Oh boy, I haven't checked my mail yet. What does it say? She moved the date of the recital and the place. Now it's in her dance studio, not Strawberry's Cafe. And she says there are new rules for entering the studio. Listen, to gain admission to dance studio, please, one, wear a yellow hat. Two, knock three times. And three, guess the secret password. <laughs> oh no, that plum, what a jokester. Um, I don't think she's joking. Of course she is. Isn't she? She's mad about my sign-up sheet rule at the cafe. But that's a rule that makes sense. Wear a hat and knock three times, that's just nonsense. <laughs> Miss Pudding, the door's locked. <laughs> We're here for our dance lessons. I hear knocking, but not three times. Strawberry was right. She wasn't kidding. I thought maybe she was being silly. She's definitely being silly. <clears throat> Password, please? Betcha it's a ballet dance step. Plie? <laughs> nay, nay. Sorry. It's her favorite pie. Uh, um, is it gooseberry? My favorite pie. But not the password. Hmm. How about ridiculous? <laughs> ridiculous it is. I'll say. Uh, uh, uh. Yellow hats? But we don't have any yellow hats. Then I'm afraid. Are you serious? You're not going to let us in because we're not wearing hats? Yellow hats. Oh, but Miss Pudding, I've been practicing my foxtrot for a week. I almost have all my feet together. 
<laughs> fair is fair. Rules are rules. Oh, I've never heard of anything so silly. Hmm, me neither. Oh, but it gives me an idea. Oh, shoot, shoot. Okay, so we're all Where's Plum? She's never late for book club. Maybe I'll give her a call. Hi, Plum. It's Strawberry. We're all waiting for you over at Blueberries for book club. Uh-huh. Okay. I understand. She says she needs to practice for the recital. Hmm. She should have had plenty of time to practice today, given that she wouldn't let anyone in for class. I know. I don't know what's gotten into her. Sesame? Sorry. Tickle? Nope. <sighs> well, I'll have to come by another time then. I can't guess. That's it. You got it. Hmm? The password. It's guess. <laughs> Pretty clever, huh? Uh, uh, but you're not wearing a yellow hat. Plum, I think we need to talk. I know you're upset with me, but it seems like you're taking this grudge too far. I don't know what you mean. All these nonsense rules? If you think my rules are nonsense, what about Raspberry's rules? Raspberry has rules? Come in. <laughs> but don't forget, you may only stand on the dots. What? Oh, Strawberry, it's you. You don't have to stand on the dots. May I ask who does? Well, when Plum comes here for her fittings of her dance costume, she has to. Ooh. Fair's fair. If Plum's going to make me obey silly rules for her dance studio, then she's going to have to obey my silly rules, too. <laughs> and besides, I'm not the only one who feels this way. Lemon and Mr. Longface have silly rules for Plum, too. What kind of rules? <laughs> well, uh, Lemon makes Plum wear a green hat to come to the salon, then whistle while she's getting her hair and nails done. Oh, and she has to recite a poem called Ode to a Caterpillar and call Mr. Longface Sir Highness Longface before she can even enter his mini bitty golf course. <laughs> I know, I know. I think Plum's rules are silly, too. Holding a grudge does not do anyone any good. But I think you're making things worse by holding a grudge, too. Besides, rules should be for everybody. It's not fair that you just make Plum follow your rules. Oh, that is a good point, Miss Shortcake. Excellent point. Okay, Strawberry. I understand. Me, too. Oh, I'm glad. More tea? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi, Strawberry. Why are you wearing green hats? We gotta. Lemon's new rules. Oh, really? <laughs> Wonderful shot, Sir Highness Longface. <laughs> Ooh, why, why, thank you. Ooh, too bad. <laughs> yes, it's your turn again, Sir Highness Longface. <sighs> That's my ball, Sir Highness Longface. <laughs> My mistake, Sir Highness. I, I mean, uh, oh, oh, this doesn't work playing miniature golf against oneself. Oh, uh, hi. Orange, are you going to come try on your new shirt? It's ready. I don't think so. It's too hard hopping from dot to dot. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, bye then. Hi, Blueberry? Are you coming for your manicure this week? You haven't rescheduled. Sorry, Lemon. My lips are still sore from whistling at my pedicure. Think I'd better wait till next week. Okay. Uh, no problem. Uh... 
Strawberry? Hi, it's Lemon. I'm having a special on facial scrubs today, and, um, well, what I'm trying to say is you don't have to whistle. Oh, you were right. Our acting like Plum doesn't solve anything. Thanks, Lemon. I'm glad to hear you say so. I'll see you soon. Oh, those smell heavenly. <laughs> Thank you. That was Lemon. She's decided to get rid of her silly new rules. So have I, Miss Shortcake. Too much trouble for everyone. No one comes to play mini bitty golf anymore. Now, if only Plum would get rid of hers. <laughs> oh, Plum, you don't have to stand on the dots. I... I, I don't? No, I decided it was a silly rule. People got so tired of it that no one wanted to come to the boutique anymore. Here you are. Oh, it's beautiful, Raspberry. Thank you. Uh, you RSVP'd no to my invitation. Oh, uh, well, you see, the only people who are coming are Blueberry and Strawberry. Oh, it's my new rules, isn't it? Hmm, well, to be honest, Yes, I've been too busy to make a yellow hat. Well, guess what? For my recital, I'm waving all the rules at my studio. Now will you come? No hats, no knocking, no password. I'm in. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I wanted to let you know that I'm waving all my dance studio rules tonight. So please come to my recital. <laughs> Hi, Orange. Hi, J.D. Bug. Need some help? Almost there. We're going to break this up into bags of nut mix. Aren't they cute? Raspberry made them. She made my dress for my recital tonight. Uh, oh! oh <laughs> that's um, nice. Huh? Gee. I wanted to let you know that for one night, and one night only, I'm waving my dance studio rules. So I'm hoping you'll both change your minds and come to my show tonight. Okay. I'll be there. <laughs> Me too. Thank you all for coming. And please enjoy some refreshments outside. You were wonderful, Plum. And what a beautiful costume. Oh, thank you. Raspberry did a great job. Ah! What's wrong? My dance floor. Oh, there are little holes in it. It's ruined. Jadybug! Yes, Plum? Stop! Don't move! Your shoes. What is it? I'm afraid your heels made little puncture marks in Plum's dance floor. Oh, goodness. I feel terrible. But everyone knows my rule about footwear in my studio. No heels. It was my first and oldest rule. But you told us you were waving all your studio rules tonight. I... Well, I thought that meant the shoe rule, too. I am so very sorry. I just didn't think about why you had that rule. But now I see why it was needed. Oh, Plum, what can I do? I'll help you refinish your floor, Plum. You will? Certainly. Me too, Plum. Thank you, J.D. Bug. Don't feel bad. It's my own fault. I didn't make it clear about the rules. Strawberry, you... You'd help me after I've been acting so foolish and holding a grudge and everything? Of course, Plum. I'd be very glad to help. You were right, Strawberry. Your sign-up rule was a good one, and I should have respected it, even if I didn't understand why it was important at the time. If you don't understand why a rule is important, next time, just ask. I will. Don't forget to use two knots. <laughs> we would not want the boat to get loose. And it is Lemon's rule. And it's a good one. It sure is. It won't drift away again now. Most certainly not.
Good morning, Berry Can Bloom. Good morning, Strawberry Shortcake. What are you up to today? I'm creating ways to make flowers different sizes, both very big and very small. Even if you don't have a whole lot of room, you can still have plenty of flowers in bloom. <laughs> That's a very clever idea. Strawberry? It certainly is a fine morning to enjoy the flowers. Oh, well, I'm not just enjoying them. I'm going to make a new perfume with pieces of the petals. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice. But it's going to be part of my new spring fashion line, my very best ever. So I want it to be really super special. Well, with all these flowers to choose from, you should have something really special in no time. Goodbye. <laughs> Today. But Quilting Club is your favorite. Is something wrong? Yeah. This. I promised the princess I'd make waiters for all the berrykins for their annual jam stomping. Dozens and dozens of them. And I thought it would be easy because the berrykins are so small. But it turns out making something so small is actually so hard. You see, to make them watertight, they need little itty bitty teensy weensy stitches. Too tiny for my sewing machine. And they're so hard to see. Oh dear. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, our raspberry. Oh. Oh dear. Oh, raspberry. Oh, if only those bitty berrykins were the same size as us. At least then I could see what I'm doing. Oh, 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 oh. only six dozen to go. Oh, no. I could make them in no time if they didn't have to be so, so, so little. Hey, you know that the berrykins were bigger. Not only would this job be easier, but bigger berrykins could stop that much more jam. What's up? Okay, okay, everybody. They're too big, but I have just a way to make them fit perfectly. Just hold still while I. Oh, nice. Uh, did I smell bad or something? Uh, no. Uh, patience. Ooh. Now try the waiters on. Ta-da! Oh, 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 oh,
<laughs> well, sure. Here you go. Great! <laughs> oh, wow! <laughs> 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 Better. 
Is that the sprayer you used this morning? No, that one is over here. Very <gasps> oh, sparkles. Well, I don't see anything. Too small for you to see, but not for me. Oh, so it wasn't just your growth spray and my perfume, but the sparkles too? It's a good thing you're so small, or we'd never have figured that out. Sparkles I can make, but I don't know how many it will take. This time for sure. works on a hat, but it might be best to try another test. Oh, we did it, we did it! Bake and Bloom and I found a way to shrink the barricades back to normal! That's terrific! Great news! We knew you could do it! Way to go, Raspberry! Yay, Raspberry! We need lots of sparkles. And Bloom hasn't been able to match the right kinds of sparkles. Let's try again. This time, Blue goes first. Uh, you might want to sort of duck. Running. <gasps> if they can't run the berry works, then no one is making glimmer berry juice. What happens to Berry Bitty City when the juice runs out? Oh, this is absolutely awful. I thought making the berrykins bigger would be helpful. I didn't think I'd be affecting all of Berry Bitty City. Right now, we're the only ones small enough to run the berry works. You know, you're right. Just show me what to do. I helped cause this problem. Now I'm gonna help fix it. I'll help too. Me too. Me too. Let's go, girls. All right. Raspberry, we're going to need more of your perfume. Uh, but the princess needs me to help run the berry works. And besides, I'm much too small to reach any of the flowers. That's not so. Even though we're bitty, we can do big things. Especially if some of the berrykins reach the flowers for you. Oh, I just thought of something. While we're running the berry works, who's gonna run our shops? Fruit salad, coming up as soon as I figure out how to make it. Hmm. Uh. 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 Uh
tried to change you just to make things easier for me. Oh, I ended up making things awful for all of Berry Bitty City. And now we'll mix another batch to change you and your friends back to normal.
lunch all packed and ready for you. Thanks, Strawberry. Um, are they reading what I think they're reading? The Galumphalot story. You should stick around to hear the end. Um, no, thank you. The beginning and the middle are enough for me. And what did the Galumphalot say? Wacky, wacky, wacky! You decided to have a special <gasps> style under the stars hair extravaganza. <laughs> I can't think of a more thrilling way to spend an evening. Oh boy, I just can't wait to see how my hair will turn out. It's so super exciting. Raspberry, when I'm done with you, your hair will be completely different. Excitement, thrills? I'm here for the relaxation. <gasps> oh, I've had a busy week. Junction over in Very Bitty City. We'll have to go over there to start the repair. Better keep the baby barricans here until we get the power back on. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have no fear. I am here, ready to take charge and fix this problem. Now, everyone, follow me. Come on, Mr. Longshank. The problem is not over there. Oh, oh yes. Uh, I was going to suggest we check there too. Sorry. So what do we do now? I can't style what I can't see. I think we should head outside and see what the trouble is. The Barricans might need some help fixing the power. Out uh, outside? Um, maybe we should just wait in here. What's wrong, Orange? Is something bothering you? Uh, I guess... I guess I'm just a little bit scared. You? But you're at least the very last one of us to be scared of anything. Oh, um, really? Well, yes. Remember the time when... You picked the fruit from the super high branch. You were the only one brave enough to swing into the pond. And then you were the one that tight roped across. Oh, uh, never mind. You're not scared of anything. Well, I'm scared now, and I think we should stay inside. Are you saying you're afraid of the dark? I am absolutely not afraid of the dark. I didn't think you were. I'm afraid of the things that might be out there in the dark. Things? What things? Oh, like the moon and stars? Things like, well, Galumphalots! <gasps> wuggy, wuggy, wuggy! Wuggy, wuggy, wuggy! wuggy, wuggy, wuggy. <laughs> okay, guys, stop. She's serious. I'm sorry, Orange. Are you really afraid of Galumphalots? From that cute story I was just reading to the baby berrykins the other day? But they aren't afraid of it. Well, I am. <laughs> but Galumphalots aren't real. They're just a silly story. But... but... Uh, how do you know Galumphalots are just a story? Because... because... Uh, well... Uh, Blueberry? Well, it must be just a made-up story because... I got it from the fiction section. You know, the make-believe section in my bookstore. But don't people who make up stories sometimes base them on real things? 
Well, yes, that is true. And it is a very old story. Can't call the author and ask. I told you! See? Maybe Galumphalots aren't real, but how do you know for sure? How do you know they couldn't be out there? In the... dark? <laughs> because... well... Oh, come on. I've been in the dark lots of times and I've never ever seen one. But then we wouldn't see them. I mean, if they were real, it'd be hard to spot them in the dark because of the darkness. Not to mention, they could be really good at hiding out there, outside, in the dark. Oh, come on. This is silly. <laughs> One, two... <laughs> Do you think that that's one of them? <laughs> now, wait a minute. How can we be sure that's a galump a lot? Yeah. I thought they sounded more like... Woogie, woogie, woogie! Well, whatever it is, let's keep it outside and, and, and us inside. Wait. See? It stopped. Glumphalot. There's no such thing. Oh. <laughs> I say! <gasps> it heard you, Blueberry. And it's answering back. Hmm. I would recommend bringing in the Big Banging Bolt Remover. <laughs> What's that? It sounds like... Assemble this entire juice pipe junction and rebuild it from the ground up. Uh, uh, you know, Mr. Longface, the Berrykins might be able to find a way to get the pipe open on their own. Without my leadership? But then, what will I do? I have another job that is very important. <gasps> you don't say. At your service, Miss Shortcake. How can I help? We need someone to tell everyone in Berry Bitty City that the Berrykins are working on the problem and the power will be out for a bit longer. You are just the caterpillar to deliver the news. That I am. I'm on my way. Execute plan juice pipe junction double knot seven slash six one. There's the problem. <laughs> Do you think the Galumphalot will do next? What if it's hungry for food? Food? Do you think it might... Do you think it likes food that, that tastes like... like... us? <gasps> I've never read anywhere that Galumphalots eat something like us. But I've also never read that they wouldn't eat something like us. <laughs> <gasps> that sounds like it came from Orange's store! Oh, the Galumph 
the lot security trap I put outside my store. I must have caught one. Oh, sir, what's falling on top of me? <laughs> oh, pardon me. Oh, I hope I didn't break anything. Oh, can someone please help me? Did we catch it, Orange? Did we? Did we? Did we? <gasps> it's getting closer. There's only one thing to do then. Run? No. We must defend the beauty salon. No Galuffalots allowed. No Galuffalots allowed. I once read a book about booby traps. Well, if a book can do it, so can we. What's first, Blueberry? Um, bucket of suds over the door. Everybody knows that one. Well, hopefully not a galumph lot Let me handle it. I'm a pro at this. First, get one bucket of water. No! It's the only way. When the Galumphalot comes in, whammo! Okay, 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 What's next? We must find a way to get the Galumphalot off balance. Squeezy, squishy, bitty, beauty batter for plants. I slipped on some ones and slid all the way over to strawberries. <laughs> Uh, careful where you step! Okay, the last thing we have to do is find a way to get rid of the Galumphalot once it's here. Aha! Uh -huh. What you got? A headache. I think I'm thinking too hard. Wait, I have it! Anyone have a hair elastic? I do! Right here! I got a couple. I got one. Hold on tight. Almost. Yeah, got it. Okay. Bring on the gump lot. Outside. Very much. Oh, it's good to know the lights are back on. What's this about a galumphalot? At Lemon Salon, the poor girls. I tried to save them, but I was completely <coughs> galumphed. Oh, but galumphalots aren't real. Yeah, yeah they're, they're not true. real. It's just a story. Oh, this one most definitely was. <laughs> we must do something. Do you have a plan? <laughs> No, no, no! This is a galumphalot we're dealing with. <gasps> Much better. Uh, follow me. Boogie, 
Woogie, woogie, woogie. Follow me. F follow. Woogie, woogie, woogie. Woogie, woogie, woogie. Oh, no. The Galumphalot's coming back. And it sounds like he's bringing friends. And lots of them. There's only one thing we can do. We have to face him. Show him we're not scared. Even though we are. <sighs> That's the spirit. On the count of three. One, two, on three. Or after you say three. Oh, you know, I was wondering the same thing. Me too. I'd hate for you to run out on three, and I was left waiting here for you to say three. Maybe we could go out on four. Four's a good number. Yeah, yeah that's, four. that's okay. a good idea. Okay. Four! <laughs> in your salon still out. The Berrykins fixed the juice pipe junction a while ago. The power's back on? Oh, Bitterberries, I had the light switch off. Sorry, girls. What is this all about? There was a galumphalot. And we booby-trapped it. But it came back. No, that was us. <clears throat> and, um, uh, me, I I'm afraid. What got you thinking about galumphalots in the first place? Blueberry said she read a book that didn't say there weren't any galumphalots. Well, I only said that because the rest of you were sure there were galumphalots. But it's just a story. Woogie, woogie, woogie! It... it was me. Oh, ever since I heard that story, I started imagining what if there were galumphalots? And the story said they liked the dark, and I imagined some more, and, and well, soon I was booby trapping all around my store, and then Lemon Store, too, and then... Oh, I'm sorry, everyone. You never know what's in the dark, and, and well, how could you see if the galumphalots were out there anyway? Because it is dark. Look around you, Orange. Now close your eyes. Are they closed tight? Now open them again and look around. Any galumphalots there? No. I always remind myself that there's nothing in the dark that isn't there in the light. You're right. And if you can imagine the galumphalot being scary, then you could probably do a good job imagining one funny, too. <laughs> You're right. We are all bigger than our fears, no matter how bitty we think we are at times. That's right! And Orange, you were the one who got your old courage back the end, even when we were all scared. I was? Oh, yeah! And you were the one that said, four! I was! And you were the one that fired the elastic trap. I was! You were always the bravest of us. I am. You're right, Strawberry. There is nothing in the dark that isn't there in the light. Not even golem for lots. Woogie, woogie, woogie! Woogie, woogie, woogie! <laughs> <laughs> Everyone inside for my special Style Under the Stars hair extravaganza! Aha! You there! Cut 
caught you red-handed. I saw right through that disguise. I knew you were you all along. I, Patty Persimmon, genius detective, have solved another baffling mystery. <sighs> oh, Bosley, isn't she just incredible? Uh, you credit you the case of the missing friend. I started reading it the second it came in, and I can't put it down. Uh, uh, it's just a bit, a bit past my bedtime. Oh, I'm sorry, Bosley, but just listen to this chapter. The dark and not so stormy night was followed by a bright and not at all stormy day. Using my brilliant brain, I, Patty Persimmon, genius detective, tracked down the suspect. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Looking wonderful, wonderful. Uh, coming along beautifully. A glorious glimmerberry crop this season. <laughs> oh, oh good, my goodness me. Uh, how could it? Uh, it couldn't. But it is. <gasps> how peculiar. What a mystery. Orange Blossom, it's time to get going. It's a very beautiful day for a swim. We don't want to miss a minute. What are we waiting yes. for? <laughs> Whoa, hold on. <laughs> Where's Blueberry? Wherever she is, it isn't here. Come to think of it, she's been missing out on a lot lately. Yeah, I was supposed to have lunch with her yesterday, but she called and postponed it until next week. Same with her haircut appointment. She called and canceled. Huh? Blueberry? Uh, Blueberry? Aha! Yikes! Hi, Strawberry, Raspberry. Come in, come in! section. Then again, I could put some under bestseller, because I know they'll be bestsellers. <sighs> Where are all your other books? No room. I had to move them out. I only have Patty Persimmon Mysteries now. It's all I read. Uh. Blueberry. Mysteries are great, but... You love all sorts of books. You like learning about all kinds of things. But Patty Persimmon Mysteries are the best books I've come across in ages. And she's such a fantastic detective. I wish I could be that smart. <laughs> you are smart, Blueberry. And such a good memory for details. <laughs> well, you could use a little help there, I might say. Huh? Hmm? <laughs> well... You did forget we were all going swimming today, remember? Oh, no. Was that today? Oh, I'm sorry, girls. I'd like to get all these books organized. Perhaps another day, okay? Okay. There's our nature hike tomorrow. I'll be there. You can count on me. It's just today, I'm so busy. Okay. Come on, Raspberry. <laughs> Strawberry, raspberry, come quick, come see. Berry can bloom. What is it? Can't you tell us what's the matter? Oh, if I told you, you'd never believe me. Better you should see with your own eyes. Oh, we'll see what? Uh. What's happened to that glimmerberry plant? 
it's caught a case of the rare, the unusual, the mysterious platyspotus. What is woozus? Platyspotus. It's a condition which causes the plants to turn plaid and polka dotted. Oh, is it bad? Oh, it's not good. And from a fashion sense, plaid and polka dots, awful. What causes it? That's a mystery. I recall reading somewhere it's a lack of a certain vitamin, but which one I can't recall. Does it hurt the berries? Uh, not that I remember, but I don't know for sure. Oh, can can you do anything? Hmm. Well, maybe if I mixed up a batch of extra special vitamin plant food. Why, yes, that's it. Wonderful idea. Off I go. Well, guess we'd better get to the pond if we want to go swimming today. Yeah, I guess. Let's make sure we have everything we need for the nature hike. Lunch, check. Binoculars, go. Check. Guidebooks, uncheck. Blueberry was supposed to bring them. She forgot to bring them? She forgot to bring herself. Oh, Blueberry. Hmm. Let's swing by and see what's keeping her. Blueberry, did you forget about our nature hike? Gun detecting. I wonder what that means. Blueberry, are you in there? Hello? You there! Blueberry? Detective Blueberry. How do I look? Like <laughs> Patty Persimmon. Thanks! What are you up to? Wait, don't tell me. Let me figure it out like Patty does. She really knows how to get into the mind of a criminal. Criminal? Mm-hmm. 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 Well, my keen powers of deduction tell me that you're... Going on a nature hike. How'd you guess? It was no guess. I asked myself, why would these girls have butterfly nets and binoculars? What a coincidence. We were just asking ourselves, why don't we have nature guidebooks? What nature guidebooks? The ones you were going to bring? Oops, I think they got boxed up to make room for all the new Patty Persimmon mysteries. Well, are you gonna join us for the hike? You might wanna change. Oh, girls, I'm sorry. I don't wanna hold you up. See, I really need to practice my detecting skills. We have muffins, your favorite, blueberry. You do? Oh, no thank you. I don't care for muffins. Huh? Huh? See you later. I'm off to solve another mystery. Uh, isn't it Patty Persimmon who doesn't like muffins? Not Blueberry. I mean, I like Patty Persimmon books too, but what happened to our friend Blueberry? <sighs> That's the real mystery. If you ask me, Blueberry's getting way carried away with those Patty Persimmon mysteries. I know. Let's try and find a really new and interesting plant specimen to bring back for her. Something to remind her of her other interests. <gasps> you mean, maybe something like that? What is it? Oh, no! It's called Platys spotus, and it's spreading! Oh, indeed it is! My extra special vitamin and rich plant food didn't work! Does that mean all the plants could end up like this? I'm afraid that's true. I just don't know what to do. Oh, what if we cleared away the plants that are close so it couldn't spread? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Just might work. <laughs> oh. Thanks, everyone. Break and Bloom says that should take care of the problem. Phew, that sure was a lot of work. And it would have been easier if we had some help from you know who. Yes, I know. Why don't we plan something fun for tomorrow? We deserve it for working so hard. Maybe a big picnic in the meadow. Sounds good. But right now, I need a nap. An all-night nap. <sighs> See you guys in the morning. Good night. Good night. Good night. Well. Blueberry? You there. I'm just about to solve the mystery of why these flowers would want to close up like this. Maybe they feel sad. Maybe they feel embarrassed. Uh, 
Maybe because it's getting dark? And that's what flowers do at night? Aha! Uh -huh. It's because it's getting dark, and that's what flowers do at night. This mystery is solved! Hmm. If you're finished with this mystery, would you have time to solve another? Of course! Really? What is it? No, 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 wait, don't tell me. The mystery of the mysterious mystery. What could it be? Why would a mystery want to be mysterious? What kind of thing would Strawberry find mysterious? Oh, uh, why don't I give you a clue? <gasps> you there! Why do the plants look like this? That's the mystery. Something's making them turn plaid and polka dotted. But I'm sure you can find the answer in one of your books. No, 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 no. I'm going to solve this case the Patty Persimmon way. And she always begins by gathering clues. And then comes the fun part. Fun part? Yes. Getting into the mind of the criminal. Asking herself how a criminal thinks. Hmm. Why would plants want to be polka dot and plaid? Maybe they were bored. Uh... Aha! I know what's wrong with these plants. Someone has been painting them. Why would anybody do that? Exactly! That is what I'm going to find out. I'm going to wait for the criminal to return to the scene of the crime. They always do that, you know. I learned it from Patty Persimmon, genius detective. <sighs> I'll stay out here all night if I have to. Not a thing will escape my keen eye. And the other one, too. even more plaids and polka dots now. Well, hey, maybe Blueberry solved the mystery. Where is she, anyway? She was around here somewhere. <gasps> Blueberry? Uh -huh. Aha! You there! So it was you all along. And you're a criminal accomplice. This case is solved. So, what made you do it? Uh, do what? Paint plaids and spots on the berry plants. Uh, we didn't paint anything. Then what are you doing here in the middle of the night? We came to check on you, to make sure you were okay. Actually, it's morning now. Aha! I knew that. I just wanted to see if you knew that I knew. <laughs> you know? Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a mystery to solve. Somewhere out here is a master criminal, a fiend with no sense of fashion. Oh, no. What are we going to do about Blueberry? We never see her anymore. And even when she's here, she's not really here. She's pretending to be Patty Persimmon. Yeah, I think... I just may have an idea. Now, I'll need everybody's help. So, what I was thinking of course. There's another mystery, Blueberry. One that has us all stumped. Well, I am still working on the spotted plaid plant mystery. But I think I can fit another one in. In the multiple mulberries mystery, Patty Persimmon juggled ten cases at the same time and solved them all. She's just so great. So, you there. What's the new mystery? Well, it's sort of a... a missing person case. Aha! Why would a person go missing? As Patty Persimmon would say, time to get a clue or two. This missing person... They haven't been seen recently? You might say that. Aha! I knew it! Now, what is their favorite color? Favorite color? Uh, blue! If it was Wednesday... It is Wednesday. Where might I find this person on a Wednesday? I mean, if they weren't missing. Uh, at the cafe? At book club. Say no more! Your missing person is as good as found! You're probably 
probably wondering why I called you here today. Because, uh, we're having book club here today? Besides that, you, uh, figured out who's missing? Aha! Close! It's because I've almost figured out who's missing. Just a few more questions, and this case will be closed like a door slammed in a strong wind. My keen detective mind tells me the answers to those questions are in... this very room! What, uh, sorts of questions? What is this person's favorite food? That'd be... muffins. Aha! Especially blueberry muffins. Aha! What about hobbies? Uh, uh, well, um, uh, oh, she loves to read books. Aha! It's a girl! You said she! I've gathered the clues and I'm putting them together. She likes the color blue and has a suspicious fondness for blueberry muffins. She likes to read books and should be here at book club if she weren't missing. And the only person like that is... Yeah? Well, who is it? Come on, the suspense is too much. The only person like that is... Me. Oh, Wait, no. I think it's you already. You did it, Blueberry. You solved the mystery. So I'm the missing person? <laughs> That's right. Yeah, uh, guess I haven't been around so much lately, huh? And we've been missing you. Come quick, everyone, to the grove! Just look, look, look! Try to spot us a spread to everything! That does not look good. It's as bad as a curse, and watch this, it gets worse! <laughs> What happened? Your Glimmerberry Sparkles didn't stick. Indeed. And if the sparkles do not stick, the Glimmerberry cannot be harvested. But if the Glimmerberries can't be harvested... Oh, there will be no power to run the town. There has to be something we can do. Whatever are we going to do? Maybe Blueberry can help us. Me? You could do some research with your books. I'm very sure you can find a way to stop the Platus Spotus. I can try. <gasps> According to this book, we need half a smidgen of this. Yes, yes, that's just what it says. And this book says we need a quarter pinch of this. Now, let me check my notes. Yes, it says it right there. Page 324. Indeed, it does. And finally, a little dash of this. There, that ought to do it. Oh, I hope this works. Give it a second. to be back. I guess I didn't make a good detective anyway. You made a very fine detective, but you make an even better friend. And that's no mystery. <laughs> <laughs> So, 
You just squeeze the bag gently. Make the frosting come out as you go. Like so. <laughs> nice. Really nice. You're so good at that. Oh, pretty. <laughs> just takes a little practice. Anyone want to try? Lemon? Oh, I just know I'm going to mess up your pretty cake. Don't worry. No matter what it looks like, it'll taste the same. Hey, these don't look half bad. Whoa! Oh, guess what? <gasps> well, <laughs> she didn't mess up the cake. Oh, I apologize for bursting in. I'm just excited because I have some special news. Sounds like something very special. What is it? We Berrykins are bringing back an old Berrykin tradition, the Berry Bitty Buggy Derby. Oh, I remember hearing about that. I don't. What is it? The Berry Bitty Buggy Derby used to happen every year. Berrykin drivers race their cars around a track for a championship trophy. Oh, that sounds neat. Uh, why did they stop doing it? We got too busy with the harvest for a few years. Everyone sort of forgot about it. It's a shame. You sure seem to have high hopes for it now. Oh, yes. It used to be so much fun. If things go well this year, maybe it could become a regular event again. Oh, wow. That'd be so nice for you. Why do you keep frosting me? Do I look like a cake? <laughs> you do now. The Berrykins are getting the racetrack ready. Would you girls be willing to arrange all the social events that happen before the race? Sure will. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be fun. Absolutely. Oh, uh, if I remember correctly, the derby was very formal with a lot of peculiar traditions. Yes, that's true. There are some very formal manners associated with the derby. Manners that we rarely use in everyday life. Uh, you might want to... Oh, girls, I'm sorry I'm late. I was researching cake decorations and forgot about the time. Is the demonstration over? <laughs> Blueberry, you interrupted the princess. <gasps> oh, I'm sorry for interrupting. I didn't see you. That's all right, Blueberry. Now, as I was saying, manners. <laughs> I'm sorry, Blueberry. I was only kidding. You gave me a perfect opportunity for a joke. Yes, we all know it's very unlike you to be late or interrupt. I was just about to say to you all, you might want to brush up on the traditions and etiquette of the derby while you're preparing. Here's a schedule of the events to be planned. Thanks again. You're welcome, Princess. Planning? What are we planning? The Bitty Berry Buggy Derby. You mean the old Berry Can Car Race? I've read about that. Great! You can help us plan the events. Introduction ceremonies, where the drivers show off their cars. Oh, and the buggy ball. Oh, I bet everyone gets to dress up. Decorations for race day itself. Ooh, I've got some great stuff in my store. <sighs> Let's make this the best derby anyone's ever seen. For the princess. Yeah, so she can get her wish to have it every year. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that's starting to be my wish. I want to help the princess, too. It would help me make up for having such bad manners and interrupting her. Don't worry, Blueberry. You're about to become our resident manners expert. Me? Of course. I'm sure you're the only one here who would have a book about derby etiquette. You know, proper manners and behavior for the derby. Actually, I think I just might. Well, it took a while to find, but... The Big Book of Berry Bitty Buggy Behavior. This should tell us how to act in any buggy derby situation. Ooh, look! It says that on Berry Bitty Buggy Day, everyone is supposed to bow before talking to the princess. Why? Nobody usually bows to her. It's a formality. Kind of... a special set of manners just for the occasion. But aren't manners something you do to make people feel comfortable? Yeah. If the princess isn't usually uncomfortable when we don't bow, why would she be uncomfortable now? Well, it's also a tradition, which is a way to show respect for how things used to be done. Oh, here you go. For the introduction ceremony, 
It's traditional to wear one pink flower. Why pink? It may not match my outfit that day. Because that was the favorite color of Princess Bertha Berrykin, who had the idea for the race. It's kind of a way of thanking her. Oh, that does sound nice. Okay, so we gotta remember to bow, wear a pink flower. What happens if we forget and do something wrong? It's okay, Blueberry. Don't worry about being perfect. We'll just do our best. Now, let's go. We've got lots to do. But keep researching, Blueberry, and we'll see you later. See you Bye -bye. later, Blueberry. I don't care what Strawberry says. I don't want to goof up in front of the princess ever again. The Derby is the perfect opportunity for me to prove I can have perfect manners. The stage looks beautiful, girls. Oh, that was all orange. She has some amazing decorations at her store. Well, for all of your help, you girls will be the first ones introduced to the drivers when they arrive. Okay, I don't understand this one either. Why do we have to be introduced to the Berrykin drivers? Yeah, everybody knows everybody in Berry Bitty City. Acting extra polite can make an event feel special. It's just another tradition. Oh, Strawberry! Oh, hi, Baby Berrykin. What's a tradition? Well, a tradition is something that keeps being done the way it was in the past. Ooh! Why? Traditions are a way to remember the past and to celebrate it. Ooh! <laughs> I like celebrations! <laughs> <laughs> Me too! <laughs> Speaking of traditions... Ooh. I hope I can remember all the ones in the ceremony. Yeah, that's why I read the whole derby book three times last night. Uh -huh. Okay, bowing, handshake, flowers, headstand. No, not headstand. Where did that come from? Look, here they come! Why does every car have three bows on it? Oh, I know, I know! Because the very first race included only three racers, so we remember them with the three bows. Umbrellas! Time for the umbrellas! Okay, now this tradition really makes no sense. Why would we open up umbrellas just because... Someone is driving. Because it's a tradition! <laughs> very helpful. Thank you. Welcome, everyone, to this year's Berry Bitty Buggy Derby. <laughs> <laughs> You're all going to have a wonderful time. So please, help me welcome the official Berry Bitty Buggy Derby drivers. <laughs> Present our esteemed Derby drivers. <sighs> oh no, they've forgotten how to do the introduction. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember now. <laughs> Thanks, Blueberry. Phew. Done. I bet she forgot. And with this traditional ceremonial derby scepter, I hereby declare that the derby has begun. <laughs> what a wonderful ceremony! Just like the old days. Thanks to you, Blueberry. I think you've shown the princess very good manners by so closely following the traditions of her favorite event. Thanks. I do feel I've made it up to the princess for my bad manners earlier. At least a little. <laughs> <laughs>
you whipped up these dresses for us so quickly, Raspberry. They're beautiful. And so fancy. <laughs> Gee, well, thank you. I mean, it's just what I do. Where's Blueberry? What's she wearing? A lot of notes. Huh? Good evening, Mr. Bumblebee. My, you're looking well this evening. Uh, well, thank, thank you, Blueberry. You're also looking... Offer to shake hands. Oh, yeah. Blueberry, what are you doing? Good evening, Miss Pudding. My, you're looking well this evening. That's what you said to the postmaster. It's me, Plum. I just want to have the best manners possible so everything goes well. For the princess, don't you think you're overdoing it just a little bit? When it comes to good manners, there's no such thing as overdoing it. Hi, Berry King Blue. Don't forget to shake hands. Huh? Uh. This is the Derby Ball, after all. We have to be proper. Raspberry, it's impolite not to wait your turn. But, uh, Jadybug told me to go ahead of her because she's still deciding. No, no, no. No bad manners at this ball. <laughs> Orange, what are you doing? Oh, uh, I'm just going to rest a second. Ooh, I was dancing my feet off out there. But, but you're slouching. That's not good manners. It isn't? Oh, oh, it's okay. No one can see me. But somebody might. And what if it's the princess? There, perfect. Psst. Plum, is your napkin in your lap? Uh, yes. Don't chew with your mouth open. Wasn't going to. No elbows on the table. Do you see them on the table? Be sure not to slurp your tea. Ugh. Anything else? Yes, sit up straight. Hey, where's Blueberry? She's busy, minding everybody else's manners. What's that? Well, you see, she's been running around correcting everyone's manners whenever they make a mistake. She corrected me before I even made a mistake. She really needs to relax. Hmm. Hi there, Blueberry. Enjoying the ball? Well, no. Why not? Oh, Strawberry, I'm just so worried someone is going to offend the princess with bad manners. I think you should just try to have fun. You don't need to worry about how things are going. Okay. Just as soon as I finish the chapter on the salad fork, the misunderstood utensil. Go, go, go! Woo! <laughs> uh, well, nothing's happened yet. I know, but I'm so excited, I can't wait to cheer. Crumbling muffins, blueberry! You look exhausted. What happened? Oh, late night. Up studying. What were you studying? All the different times that it's good manners to say please and. <gasps> oh, thank you. <sighs> <gasps> what is it? I yawned. At the derby, I yawned. Oh, Strawberry, do you think anyone saw me? The book says that's terrible manners. I really think it's okay to yawn. Uh, what? What? Raspberry is standing in front of someone shorter than she is. She may be rudely blocking his view. Bad manners! Bad manners! Bad manners! Uh-oh. Manners maniac coming our way. Quick, hide! Where'd they go? I could have sworn they were here a minute ago. It's just about time for the race to begin. Before we begin, I just want to let everyone know we Berrykins could not have done this race without the help of Strawberry Shortcake and her friends. I also wanted to say I've so enjoyed having the race back again. I hope you've enjoyed it too. Maybe next year we can repeat it. So without further ado, I believe it's time for us to start. Oh no, that driver is about to interrupt while the princess is talking. The worst manners mistake ever, and I should know. Driver, don't interrupt when the princess is talking. It's bad manners. <gasps> oh, oh no. But um, all I was trying to say is we, we can't start the race because 
this driver has a flat tire. Oh, dear. Oh, my. I... I guess I wasn't paying attention. Thank you for letting us know, sir. I have never been so embarrassed in my life. Oh, no. Please don't leave. I was only trying to... to him in front of everybody? It hurt his feelings. And now he won't even come out of the cafe. And it's holding up the race. The rules say they can't start unless all the drivers are there. But I was just trying to make sure everything went well. I mean, why is the driver upset? He's the one who goofed up his manners. Um, actually, Blueberry, it's even worse manners to correct someone's bad manners in front of other people. I've been doing that to all of you, haven't I? Well, not exactly. I mean, not really. I mean, uh... Yes. Yes! I'm so sorry. Can you ever forgive me? <laughs> of course, Blueberry. We understand. Learning the right manners can be very confusing. Oh, and I'd better apologize to the driver, too. Now that's good manners. Excuse me, sir. I just... I mean... I wanted to apologize for embarrassing you like I did. In front of everybody. I was nervous and just was trying too hard to make everything go right. I'm sorry. Well, uh... Thank you. <laughs> I, uh... <clears throat> I know what you mean about being nervous. This is the first race I've ever been in. <laughs> I was pretty nervous, too. Well... Do you think there's any chance you might be willing to go back and finish the race? Yep. I'd say those chances are pretty good. Sorry, the race was just so exciting, I forgot. I'm so glad you guys can understand and forgive me when I goof up. What can I say? That's what friends are for. <laughs> now, that was the most fun I've had in ages. Somebody ought to tell the princess that we should do that every year. Did you hear that? The princess will be so happy. Hey, Blueberry, you know what else friends are for? <laughs> Celebrating when something great happens.
face. Ready to start making finger sandwiches for the tea party? Ooh, better than that, Miss Shortcake. I spent the entire night thinking up new culinary treats, perfect for tea parties. What do you think of a wheat, grass, corn, husk, and pickled butter puff? It sounds very, uh, interesting. I <laughs> can't wait to try it. Oh, neither can I. <laughs> 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 I can't play now. Do you want to come in? Cupcake <laughs> <laughs> custard. You two. Come on. You'll have to stay out of the way. Are you ready to try my spectacular wheat, grass, corn husk, and pickled butter puff? Oh. Um, <laughs> yes. Mmm. 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 <laughs> that is very, um, hmm, different. Mmm. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Maybe an acquired taste. You know, something you have to get used to. Not for everyone, are they? <laughs> you need a sense of adventure to enjoy them. <laughs> Honestly, Mr. Longface, it might be too much adventure for me, but maybe others will take to them. <gasps> How'd you... Oh, are you all right? Oh, you want to play? <laughs> I'm sorry. I told you, I'm just too busy today. Presenting my next creation, the first ever strawberry, raspberry, blueberry, lemon, orange, plum tea sandwich. Oh, strange. Strange? Oh, I'm sorry. I meant that is strange. Custard and Pupcake didn't come back for lunch. Ooh, oh, my. Uh, that's not only strange, it, it's... why, it's unheard of. Oh, dear. I hope something hasn't happened to them. Oh, don't worry, Mr. Longface. I'm sure there's a very simple explanation. They're probably just... Oh, out playing and just lost track of time. <laughs> <laughs> Everything got to Watch out for the pops. Shh, Mr. Longface's pride and joy. His wheat grass corn husk and pickle butter pops. Strawberry? What's so interesting out there? Oh, uh, nothing. They're not back yet. Who's not back yet? Oh, custard and pupcake. Have you seen them? Are they missing? Oh, I'm sure they're just plain. <laughs> you know those two. Poor things. What if something's happened to them? Now, don't worry. They'll come back when they're ready. Honor! Oh, <laughs> oh, of course. 
course. Are you enjoying the party? <laughs> yeah. Oh, best tea party ever. <laughs> I'm so glad. <laughs> I'm not. Excuse me, won't you? I can't stop thinking about those two helpless little creatures out there. <laughs> Maybe lost in the big world. Oh, don't worry, Mr. Longface. After the tea party, I'll go out and find them. If there's anything I can do to help. That's very kind of you. Perhaps later you could keep things going here while I step outside and call them. Happily. Uh, just say when. Uh, now. Custard! Hopcake! They've never been gone this long. Have they? Don't worry, girls. I'll find them in no time. I know all their favorite spots. Please, go back and enjoy the party. Sadiebug and Katiebug will think they've been abandoned. But we can help you look, Strawberry. But they've been looking forward to this party for weeks. The ladybugs won't miss me. But if you leave, I mean, <laughs> the party just started. Party is over. I do apologize, Miss Shortcake. I couldn't stop them. We can have a tea party any old time, but right now, we're having a search party to help you find your pets. And we brought finger sandwiches. Good oh, me. yeah! Thank you, everyone. What are friends for? <laughs> reading a Patty Persimmon mystery book that Blueberry recommended, and there's a search party scene, and they were able to find a missing Glimmerberry by splitting up. Great idea! Oh, uh, Katie Bag and I will distribute food and drinks to all parties soon as she gives me the basket! <laughs> oh. <laughs> You all search party snacks. Why, thank you, Katie Bug. Don't mind if I do. Oh, thank goodness the rain is stopping. Now, quick, guys, we're off. Have to supply that merry kids. <laughs> thank you. Wait. That looks like a Mr. Longface special. Oh, uh, thanks for reminding me. Uh, I'll just save this for later. Hmm, I think I'll do the same. Hmm, an Arboralis linaria usually stands straight up. The pets must have been through here and bent it. Oh, wonderful observation, Berrykin Bloom. Wow. This is really reminding me of the mystery Blueberry gave me. The search party was in a dark woods like this. And while they were tracking the missing Glimmerberry, the mean, nasty, very naughty thief was tracking them! Huh? Oh, hey! I read that mystery. Patty Persimmon, genius detective, on the case of the mean, nasty, very naughty Glimmerberry thief. Exactly how mean, nasty, and um, uh, what was the rest? Very naughty. Oh, dear. But it turns out it wasn't a thief at all. <sighs> Thank goodness. It was really a forest oh. monster. Yeah, they call it the Slither Slider. <laughs> Did you? Here. <laughs> nothing. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Are you sure? Uh, perhaps something that sounded sort of like a... Slither? <laughs> uh, not, not at all. <laughs> Wait for us! that they would come this far. I don't recognize this area. It's not even on the map I printed out. And there's no path. Oh, I've just got to look everywhere. They have to be somewhere. Let's head out a little farther. 
I certainly wouldn't want to get lost out here in this rainy weather like they might be. Lost? My pets? I know. I read in a story about two kids who made a trail of breadcrumbs so that they could find their way home. Oh, I know that story. Um, doesn't, um, the breadcrumb trail get eaten? But no one will eat this. You're clever, Blueberry. Come on, now we won't get lost. Strikes in the rain. Well, come on. Let's keep going. Into this rain? Well, we have to find the pets. Uh-oh. Uh, quick, up here. This way. Uh, let's go in here. Ooh, it's Ryan here. Come on. <laughs> Just look at that. Someone's been littering. Strawberry always says, pack it in, pack it out. Whatever you bring into the wilderness, you should bring out. Did you hear that? Oh, I'm afraid that I did. It couldn't be the slither slider. Ah! Orange raspberry! Oh, my. Handing out search party snacks is super hard. It's a lot of work. Yeah. Uh, let's have a rest. Oh, why not enjoy a snack ourselves? Oh, hey, I was saving that sandwich for me. Finders keepers, losers, weepers. Uh, no, uh. What? Who is doing this littering? <laughs> Orange, raspberry. If you can hear us, we're over here. <laughs> It's coming closer. Oh, Tothrot! Patty Persimmon Genius Detective Magnifying Glass, then they're gone. My pets? No, with those puff crumbs. I can't believe someone ate them. Goodness, now we'll never find our way out of here. Don't be scared. We've got each other. We can handle this. But the sun will set in approximately 44 minutes, and the pets are lost, and we're lost. I'll call the others. Hi, Orange. Any sign of pupcake or custard? Nothing here, except, well, we really aren't sure where here is. Yeah, we're lost, too. Oh, uh, call you back, Orange. I've got another call coming in. Hello? Hi, Lemon. Slow down, Lemon. What's wrong? Uh, there's something very weird out here. Be brave. 
grave. We'll find you. Great. Now we're all lost together. Hey, is that a map? Uh, it was. <laughs> Quick, let's hide in here. Oh, I don't know if I can fit. I'll help you. Try back again. Lemon, we're going to find them. Oh, Strawberry, well, what would we do without you? You always tell us everything is going to be okay. I only hope it is. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Sadie Bug, Katie Bug, what's wrong? Do you know something about the pets? We lost the tea sandwiches and the puffs! Puffs? We've been finding and picking those up all afternoon. Afternoon. You cleaned up our puff trail? Well, sure. Puff it in, puff it out. Oh, oh, strawberry. Princess, any... <sighs> I see. Guys, look! The sun is going down, and we still haven't found puff cake and custard. What if we never find them? And I lost Mr. Longface and Berry can bloom. It's behind me! Coming for us! Wherever you are, I hope you're okay. What if they're somewhere where we can't find them? How could they be lost? They know their way around. But maybe they're terribly lost. Maybe just too tired to come home, but they'll be back tomorrow. What if they're trapped somewhere? I don't think that's likely. Oh, I miss them so much. Could they have run away? <laughs> Strawberry? Are you... Just the night air, uh, making me sniffle. <laughs> oh, Strawberry, you must be so worried. And all we've been talking about is how worried we are. You poor thing. You love those pets so much. I didn't want to make everyone upset, but I'm just so scared I won't find them. And, and maybe they did run away. You see, they wanted me to play with them, but I was too busy. Oh, I was silly to say that. They would never run away. Not with someone like you taking care of them. They know how much you love them, and they love you. Don't you worry, Strawberry. We will find them no matter what. Oh, I hope so. I'm so glad you all came to look with me. Quick, run! <laughs> run for your lives! We heard it coming from underground! We heard weird noises underground, too! Wait a minute! Underground! What if that's why the pets didn't come home? What do you mean, Strawberry? Well, all of us have searched everywhere from above. And if the pets were underground and didn't know what time of day it was... They might lose track of time? Exactly! Mr. Longface, Barry can bloom. Where did you hear the noises? <laughs> Back there. Custard? Pop cake! Thank you, everyone, for helping look for my pets. 
If you all hadn't looked everywhere up here, <laughs> I'd never have found them. <laughs> Under there. understand what it's for. This! No standing on each other's shoulders rule. I know what it needs. <laughs> hey, Orange! That's not fair. <laughs> Wait, can you do that? There's no rule against it. In fact, I haven't made up any rules yet. <laughs> is no match for two birds. Orange, what do you call it? Uh, I don't know. It's a ball stuffed with dandelion fluff. So how about we call it Dandy Ball? Yes. <laughs> 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 
But with Dandy Ball being so popular, I thought it'd be easier to just move. Hmm. There's plenty of room outside for everyone. Dandy Ball shouldn't be getting in anybody's way. And there should be plenty of room to play Dandy Ball, too. Right. Everyone should be able to enjoy themselves and the outdoors with just a bit of planning. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, of course. course. Yes. Yes. Good idea. Yeah. So, who should do the planning? I'd volunteer, but I have to finish the costumes for Plum's recital first. That's right. Hmm. And I need to practice. Who would be good? Well, since I was the one who sort of got the ball rolling... Make that floating. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should be the one to figure out a way to keep things fair for everybody. Maybe I could figure out, oh, I don't know, some sort of schedule. Oh, what about lemon? Me? <laughs> yeah! You schedule appointments all day, and the problem here seems to be all about scheduling. Huh. I guess it is about scheduling. Okay, I'll give it a try. Is that okay with you, Orange? You did volunteer first. Oh, no problem. I think Raspberry's right. Lemon will do a really good job. Besides, I'm pretty busy with my store right now. And with the new game, I've kind of gotten behind. I'll see you later. Okay, Orange. See you later. Once upon a time, there was a big baby berrykin who loved to do somersaults. Mmm, I love that story. What's going on? How come everyone is just standing around? We're waiting for Blueberry's hour to be up so we can play again. Where is Blueberry? Oh, she finished a while ago and went back to her store. So why don't you just go ahead and play? Lemon schedule says we can't until Blueberry's hour is up. But that doesn't make... This doesn't seem quite right. Hi, everyone. Oh, hi, Strawberry. Hey, Hello, Strawberry. Strawberry. Is Lemon around? <gasps> Hi, Lemon. How's it going? Oh, fine, fine. Almost got this worked out, I think. 
One hour for watering plants, one for tasting jam. You know, Lemon, maybe an hour is too long for some activities and too short for some others. Huh? What do you mean? Well, I didn't need a whole hour to read to the Berrykins. And the Berrykins needed more than an hour to play dandy ball. Gee, I hadn't thought of it that way. I'm used to making salon appointments by the hour. I know I can figure this out, but it's taking forever. I don't have any time to do my hair appointments. Maybe someone else could take over while I get caught up? Well, I'm pretty busy, but I suppose... Oh, oh, you know who'd be good at this? Blueberry! Plum's right! Me? Well, yeah, now that I think about it. Research, detail, figuring out numbers. Those are things you're really good at. Well, I do enjoy those things. Okay, I'll do my very best. Oh, thank you. This is great. Here, I'll help you move all the papers. Are you okay with Blueberry taking over the scheduling? Oh, sure. It's the kind of thing she's good at. She's bound to figure out what's best for everyone. Ooh, I still have lots to do in the store. Better get back to it. Bye. Bye, Orange. Hmm. Aha! Just as I thought. Yes, I think that's it. The longitudinal lines have days of the week. Rectangles represent dandy ball. Here's quilting a square. Story time for the baby barricans is a hexagon. Plum's dance recitals are circles. The book fair, two squares. Well, now that takes care of 9 o'clock Tuesday morning. Now on to Wednesday. Uh, hang on, this is Monday. Uh, hang on. Uh, <laughs> well, um, that concludes the presentation portion of my, um, presentation. But I made a copy of everyone's schedules in handy pocket size, so you can always carry it around. Here you go. This is for you. Here's yours. Uh, here you are. Here you go. This is yours. One for you and one for you. And... Well, this is really great, Blueberry. Lots of, um, details. And so thorough. But I don't mind telling you, figuring this out was a bit more complicated than I thought. I'm sure it'll work out just fine, once everyone gets the hang of it. <gasps> What's going on? It's supposed to be my turn for the book fair. I thought I got to have my gymnastics class now. But they all think they get to do their activities now. Oh, oh, my turn! Not fair! It says right here that... I checked twice. I know it's my turn. Wait, wait, wait. Hang on. I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, it's here somewhere. <laughs> That's not it. Aha! The outdoors gets used now for... Jadybug's surprise birthday party. My birthday isn't for two more months. Wait, what surprise party? I know it's here. I just saw it. I'm sorry, everyone. Listen, we all like dandy ball, right? So for now, let's all play. And I'll try to figure out a better schedule. <laughs> Why not? Okay, dokey. Might as well. Lovely idea. Yeah, 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 wow, this was trickier than I thought. I think I can straighten out the rest of the day. But maybe one of you could give it a try after that. How about you, Raspberry? Oh, well, I'd be happy to try, but I think the perfect person is... You, Strawberry! After all, you schedule activities in the cafe. Maybe, but I wonder if Orange shouldn't give it a try first. Huh. Orange? Sure. Why not? Oh, no, 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 no. It's not that we don't think she can do it. Oh, no. I mean, she's great at thinking fast. Excellent. But sometimes she kind of... Uh, jumps into things? Yeah. And she's never had to do this kind of planning before. None of us have had to do this kind of planning before. I think if we give Orange a chance, she'll surprise everyone, including herself. Hey everyone! What's going on? Well, 
Strawberry had this idea, and we wanted to know what you think of it. Her idea is that maybe you should try to organize the outdoor areas. I don't know if I would be good at that kind of thing. Planning, organizing, scheduling. And I really do have a lot of work in the store right now. What work do you have to do, Orange? Well, I have to keep track of what people have bought so that I know what I have to reorder. I have to figure out where to put everything I've ordered once it comes in. And I have to put everything in its special place on the shelf so that everyone can find what they're looking for. Then I have to do my weekly calendar, you know, where I schedule which days I clean the store, which days I stock the shelves. Sounds like a lot of planning, organizing, and scheduling. Oh, it is. That's why I don't have much time to... What are you all smiling about? Because everything you just said is about planning and organizing and scheduling. Exactly the kind of planning, organizing, and scheduling the community areas need. And I should know. Oh, hi, everyone. Oh, this seemed like a pretty big job at first. But I realized it was just like working in my store. I had to start with one activity, then move on to the others. But why didn't I think of that? So I broke it into smaller jobs, and the first job was to organize the game of Dandy Ball. Of course, that makes so much sense. So, I set up six teams. Everyone can sign up to be on a team over there. I'm gonna be on the orange team, naturally. <laughs> <laughs> I figured out how long it usually takes to play one game. Then added how many games we have to play a week to finish a month-long season. So, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays are dandy ball days. I worked out the whole season. There's even a championship! Oh, yay! <laughs> Once I had the game figured out, I was able to fit everything else into the rest of the week. <laughs> yes! Here's Raspberry's fashion show. Oh, that's perfect! Two hours is just the right amount of time I need to set up. And these are perfect times for story reading. The baby berrykins are awake. All my gymnastics classes are scheduled for when the breeze is nice and cool. And here are the smaller versions of the schedule. Wow, Orange, it looks like you thought of everything. We wish we could have been more helpful. You can be. There are a few things we could still use. Oh, hey! <gasps> Those teams will need uniforms. I can definitely design them. And Dandy Ball should have a rule book. I've always wanted to write an official rule book. Oh, the team should have someone to cheer them on. I'll go work up some cheerleading routines. Oh, wow, Orange. I'm so sorry we ever questioned whether you could do this. I questioned it, too. It was Strawberry who got me to realize I could do it. The only way to find out what you can do well is to give it a try. Or to find out what you don't do so well. Orange, wait up! Oh, you were amazing! I'm just glad I could help. That's why I wanted to talk to you. Maybe you could help me reorganize the post office. Sure, Jadybug. I'd be glad to. Orange, I need to ask a favor. Certainly, Princess. What can I do for you? I wonder if you could help get the berry books to run a bit more smoothly. I'll certainly give it a try. Right after I help Jadybug with the post office. There you are. I've been trying to come up with a better way to sort all the books in my store. Maybe you could... Help you organize? Sure. Right after I help Jadybug and Princess Berry. <laughs> 